Oh, I feel like I'm stuck in a box. Guys, I gotta be honest. I've been in here for six days. I was like, um, it's too long. I don't know what to do. I'm going insane. Man, I really gotta freaking clean this place. <laughs> Thanks so much for holding my clothes, buddy. You guys know the best way to keep your clothes from getting wrinkled is to put it on your skeleton? We're just gonna go ahead and swap clothes real quick. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that's a lot freaking better. But the rest of my place is still so freaking messy. Ooh, okay, time to go through the secret door. Okay, so I tried to put the trash can through just now, but it didn't fit. So I guess I'm just gonna have to put all this trash in this cardboard box. Okay, yeah, that looks a lot better. Now we have to break out the vacuum. Okay, here we go. Okay, cool, we got this all vacuumed up. Get the heck out of here. Get out of here, you beast. Okay, perfect. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my box of isolation. Oh, sorry, I have a craft corner. This is, this is my this is my craft corner. Freaking day 27 of quarantine, am I right? Woo! Anyway, guys, today we're gonna be trying nine DIY school life hacks that you could try at home right now. Let's freaking let's freaking do this. Ah! Okay guys, so here's our coat. Let's just go ahead and open that up really quick. Okay, cool. Put that off to the side. Here's our Mentos, our needle and thread. Let's just get one of these guys. Aha! Put that through here. Dude, this is a little harder than I thought. I hope I don't stab myself. Here we go. Yes! We did it. Okay, cool. Cut the string. Okay, now we have to carefully put it inside of this without dropping the Mentos in. Okay, let's see if we can do it. Ready? Awesome! Let's go test this out on Johnny. You gotta be really careful with this. One wrong move and this could explode. Oh, Johnny Guelbo! Oh, hi, Robbie. Oh, hi, Johnny. I see that you are uh, cleaning my grill and I truly appreciate oh, yeah, it. Yeah, no problem. Would you like you know? uh, uh, refreshing Coca-Cola for helping me uh, oh, clean? That would be amazing. That sounds so good right now. Robbie? Robbie? Robbie! You have been pranked! How did you do this? Take that! <laughs> It's good? Do you like it? Oh no. That's <laughs> pretty good. That's uh, looks pretty good. <laughs> You've been pranked! Thank you so much. This is so good. Well, have fun. I'll see you later. I have a new one. No, 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 no. I'll see you. Uh, goodbye, Johnny. I have the perfect gift for Tori. A banana! Woo! Make it look a smile. No show. Banana! Put that in here. Now we're gonna wrap it up. I feel like 50% of this video is just gonna be me wrapping stuff. Tape this up. Okay, cool. Right there. Woo! Keep wrapping. Oh no, did I do it too short? Uh-oh. I think I might title this video, Watch Robbie Wrap Stuff Really Badly. Yeah, this looks good. Maybe just put that over there like that to cover that cardboard spot. I bought my sister something for Christmas, and my mom said that I should have Tori wrap it because one year I wrapped all my gifts in newspaper, and she hated it. She was like, "It looks so ugly under the tree." And I'm like, "Mom, it's my gift. I can wrap it how I want." Now we're gonna break out the zip ties. I made sure to get the extra long ones. I hope this actually works. I need to zip tie these bad boys together. Is it gonna do it? No. It's just a little too short. There we go. One down. No, come back. Okay, there's another one. Did I do this backwards? Oh, I think I just messed this up. Here we go. Aha! Woo! I did the first row! Now to do it long ways. There we go. Wrap it underneath, maybe. Make it extra hard. Woo! I think I barely have enough. Underneath there. To the other side, just like that. Okay, now I gotta cut all these things off. Okay, yeah, it looks like we're all good to go. Tori Dabransky! Oh, Tori Dabransky, I have a gift for you. An even better, awesomer gift. Do you like it? What? You're actually doing it! Tori, how are you breaking through those zip ties? Are you a She Hulk? Yeah. I'm just so strong. These ones aren't gonna be the hard ones. 
<laughs> you just have scissors. Hey, those are my scissors! You keep taking my scissors! You brought it back to me last time. No, I didn't. You took them. They, you stole them. Ah. She did it! I was really hoping that you would put scissors in the box, <laughs> but then I saw the scissors at your desk. Okay, now we're gonna try and reprint the thumbnail! So I tried to rip it open. We already did. But we gotta try and try and rip it open. Like you're ripping it open. You're like, grr. 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 Okay, this is hard. I'm gonna go back to using my scissors. I really hope there's something cool in this box. Okay, you know what? I feel like I could get away with what job we're off. I'm just swinging around these scissors. You leave those scissors everywhere. I know. And then you leave thumbtacks everywhere. No, I don't. Corey, why is our room a jungle right now? Because I'm making it a jungle. I'm doing some decor work. This last one. Ow. Oh, yeah, it's the same Amazon box. <laughs> okay. I used the same Amazon box. I didn't even realize that. I mean, I guess I did. <laughs> I just didn't think you'd notice. <laughs> you a banana. Do you like a banana? I'd be the great kind of eat it. Do you want it? Bet. There you go. Get your potassium in. Hey, you can't do that. Someone's gonna trip on this. Tori Bransky. Hey, Tori. Stop. This is so dangerous. People are gonna slip on these banana peels. You're a dangerous girl. Do you like a banana? It's great. Okay, guys, I think it works. Okay guys, so here's our cup that we're gonna put our ice cream in. Here's our mayonnaise. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna puke just looking at this. Uh, I hate mayonnaise pranks. I can smell this and it's not good. It is not good at all. I'm never going to do one of these mayo pranks again. These are completely awful. Let's go downstairs and see what else we can put in this ice cream. Let's see, we're looking for stuff that looks like you can put it on ice cream. Ooh, perfect chocolate sauce. Gotta put some of that on there. There we go. Oh, yeah, that looks like some good ice cream. Yeah! Okay, do we have any sprinkles? Oh, sprinkles! Ooh, oh, those are spices for your pizza. Nope. Wait, I got all my sprinkles. Okay, let's see, do we have any in here? Sprinkles, where are you? Nope. Ha-ha! Perfect. Now we just put some sprinkles on there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's test this out on Tori. Bransky. I'm really sorry for that prank that I did on you earlier. Thank to make it up, I got you some ice cream. Yes, yeah, is it more pranks? No, I would never prank you again. Why does it look... You need to stop giving me mayonnaise. <laughs> this smells disgusting. What were you expecting me to do with this? Actually eat it? No, no don't give that to the bed. Just chocolate in there. That's yeah. not good for the bed. This is so gross. Do you want it? I don't even want that. Please don't throw that at me this time. Oh, I know. That'd be bad. Hey, what are we going to do with all this no, no. beautiful ice cream? Okay, go give it to somebody else. I don't want it. Eat not a rubby. Don't, it's not even ice cream. Don't say that. Well, guys, I guess we're going to have to say it. This one doesn't work. You didn't even fall for that one, Tori. I did. I'm How could you not smart. fall? for that. We're getting smart, Rob. Weed up our pranks, huh, Ben? <laughs> well, I'll see you later with not another prank. With not more mayonnaise. I'll see you later, mayonnaise. I mean, uh, ice cream. Goodbye. <laughs> Okay guys, I know we're a little bit late on the train, but we're gonna try the chicken sandwich from Popeye. Let's see if they actually have it. You ready for this? I'm so, so ready. I feel like, do you think they're gonna have it? Probably not. What do we do if they don't have it? Do we just like, cry. do we just back out? No, we just cry. That's how Tori handles things. That's how I handle all my problems. Hey, do you, oh sorry, we're out of chicken sandwiches. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dang, my bad. Have a great day. Okay, bye. Dang, no chicken sandwiches here. Dang it, oh well. Oh man, I look crazy trip to McDonald's tonight. <laughs> ben, what are you doing? Am I right? Yeah, that was 
insane. Okay, so here's your fries. Oh, here's my sandwich. Mm -hmm. These are really good. I I really have to use the bathroom. Okay. I'm just gonna leave my drink right right here. Don't what? don't do anything to it. <laughs> I'm so glad Tori didn't see this hidden camera. Now it's time to make my move. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is rip a little hole in there, right in the in the pocket. <laughs> Benji, you're still my fries. And then we just put the straw in here, just like that. And we carefully put it back. Tori's never gonna suspect this. <laughs> Put it back, she'll never suspect a thing. The life of the bathroom was insane. Yeah? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, so I put your fries away because Ben just kept getting at oh, them. Oh, to take from, a uh, sip from my drink that definitely wasn't tampered with. Yeah, wash down those fries. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? The soda's not working? I don't trust it anymore. Why don't you trust your drink? <laughs> the soda stayed up in the straw. It's okay, it's natural. You got this. <laughs> You've been pranked! It was ketchup inside of there the whole time! Oh, they fell into your drink. One second. It was ketchup the whole time! You've been pranked! What? Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works! Woo! I got you, Tori! You've been pranked! One of those headband things, so I guess I'm gonna have to make my own. Okay, how am I gonna do this? I'm really going into this kind of blind. Clamp this down. The goal is to make a headband thing. This ought to do the trick. Is that wide enough to fit on my head? Yeah, like that. And I'd say like that. Then I gotta make another one. That's good. Then like this. One more. Make sure it matches this one. Okay, good enough. Cool. Now to put these bad boys together. Something like this, maybe? Yeah, that looks like it could be a good headband thing. I need screws. Okay, so we got our drill. Now I'll drill this into here. Thinking like right here should do good. Oops, like right here. Other side. Do this side now. Yeah, this should work. The only problem is I only have this long of screws. A little long for what we're doing, but I can make it work. Don't need that. Now we have to slowly put the screw in so that it doesn't go through my table. It works! Maybe a little bit more. Cool! Now I have to try and get it so that it's in that hole. Let's hope this doesn't fuck up my fingers. Oh, that's already cracking the wood. Oh my gosh. Oh no! It's okay. I forgot to do this one. I did both sides of that one. Okay, hole looks good. Now to get this screw into here without, you know, cracking it like we did this one. Wish me luck. That kind of sounded like that British chase scene music. I'm probably saying the complete wrong thing. Now we gotta get this screw in here without cracking it. It's such a long screw for this. <laughs> Woo! Okay, yeah, I'd say uh, it's it's a little big, um, quite a little bit big. Now let's glue our beats to it. One on each side, just like that. I think before I glue these on, I'm gonna wrap it in pink duct tape. Here we go. Yeah, that looks like way better headphones now because they're pink. Plus it'll hide where this split up. So I'm pretty sure that they're gonna use these on an everyday basis. And I don't want them getting a split up. Oh, that looks much better. Okay, let's hot glue this on. Hot glue. We got one right there. And here's another one. Oops, I put the hot glue in the wrong spot. <laughs> it's okay, I think, I think they'll still get the point. Now I'm gonna make sure that these stay in place. It's one, and here's two. This one's gonna take a while. There we go. Okay, I got them clamped on. Now I'm gonna wait for these bad boys to cool. Okay, it's been like 10 minutes. These seem pretty cool. Take these off. Okay, I hope they don't break when I pick them up. Are you ready? Oh, it's glued to the table. Okay, they survived. Now time to try these on. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so freaking silly. It's my new headphones! This is my new headphones! Now time to wrap these up. Roll out our wrapping paper. Where'd my scissors go? What the heck? Guess I gotta use these. Okay. I really hope that these don't break while I wrap them. Yeah, that's good. And like that, and like that. These are great. I feel like this wrapping paper is a little weird. Ah, stop! This is perfect. They'll never suspect it. Now time to give it to Tori. Oh, Tori to Bransky! Tori to Bransky! I have another present for you. Okay, moment. I'm getting all the gifts today. Here you go. I think you're gonna really love this one. Do you like them? 
I got you a new pair of beads. Aw, uh, Jade, they're a little bit too big for my head. Oh, they're big for mine, too. That's why I gave them to you. <laughs> Do you like them? Oh, they're great. They are wonderful, Rafi. I know you said you wanted beats for Christmas, so I got you these. That's where my scissors went. I'm taking these back. <laughs> these are mine now. Back where you belong. So here's our chocolate, it's nice and hot. Just fresh out the microwave. Let's give it a good mix. Ooh, this is perfect. Then we get our eggs, our very, very expired eggs. These expired last month. Perfect. And we just mix the egg inside the chocolate. Dude, I love white chocolate. It's my favorite kind of chocolate. Ugh. I've actually done this one a couple times on different friends, and I'm pretty sure that Chris will fall for this one. Then we get some parchment paper. Put our egg on there. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Sweet. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool for a little bit, and then we'll try it out on Chris. Okay, so here's our egg. Yeah, it is uh, actually not bad. I would totally eat that. That looks, um, uh, Delicious. Okay, now let's try this out on Chris. Oh, hey, Hair Jordan. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Hey, I got you your favorite sugary treat, a chocolate-covered egg. Really? Yeah, doesn't it look so appetizing? Is this, uh, is this real? Yeah, this is real, <laughs> this is real chocolate. Okay. That's a real chocolate egg. Yeah, it is chocolate. See, it's real chocolate, it's good. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You that's disgusting! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Is that what a raw egg tastes like? That? Oh my gosh, dude! Is that? Is that egg rotten? Yeah, it's rotten no, by it's about. Not. It's rotten by about uh, three months. No, are you are you kidding me? That smells so bad. <laughs> you smell this? I actually haven't smelled it yet. Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude! Go dude! Go dude! Go dude! Go dude. Oh. I bit into that. Why would you do that? That is horrible. I need something more, more than water. What is your problem today? You've been freaking pranked, dude! This is not. <laughs> hey, Chris! Welcome to the office! Thanks. Well, guys, I guess we could say that this one works. I'm going home early today. Wait, Chris, wait, no, stop. I need you to stop, come back! <laughs> So here's our zipper, here's our fabric we're gonna be using. I thought this looked really nice. Like, I, I thought this was a really good pattern. Anyway, so I have to cut it about the same length as the zipper, I think. Bring it out trusty scissors. Here we go. Um, so maybe I'll just do like a long straight strip like this. Oh, I don't need that anymore. Now to cut the rest of it. There we go. Yeah. Wow, and I also got all this extra fabric left. Okay, so it looks like I have to have this thing kind of unzip. So, okay. And then I start down in the corner, just like this. So the zipper's up like this, and then it starts like that. And I glue that right here. And then that goes right about there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and break out my trusty hot glue gun. There we go. Please don't burn myself. Please don't burn myself. I'm gonna use these scissors to push it down. Ah, now I do this part of the zipper. And then I have to kind of... Ah! Just burn myself! I gotta somehow turn it like this. I don't know how they're expecting me to do this. Uh, ah! Sacrifices are being made. I'm doing my best. Doing my darn best right here. I feel like I need to cut that. I need to cut this one. Then we turn it around. Then we take it around town. Keep pushing that in. Keep pushing this down. Just like my feelings. Okay, that's supposed to be like that. And then this is like that. I think I understand. Now I have to glue this entire strip right here. Oh man, this is gonna take a second. Oh boy, here we go. And we're just gonna go. So hot! Well, this is definitely one to add to the Robbie Burns himself with glue gun compilation. Okay, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Now, apparently, I just zipped this up a little bit. Oh, please don't get stuck. I think I'm, I should have done it the other way. Or, no, we're good. Yes! What did I do wrong? I feel like I did something wrong. Okay, so it's supposed to fold over. Oh, okay, and then this goes like that. No. Oh, okay, and then this side gets glued to this one. Okay, I think I understand. So I think I put it here. Please, I, I really hope I don't regret this. No, it's not unzipping! I think I got hot glue inside the zipper. So this gets glued to this, just like that. 
that. Here's a pair of dough. Okay, yeah, it looks like uh, I'm done with that. Now I just gotta snip a piece off the end. Boopity boop. And apparently, I'm just supposed to, uh, I'm gonna get a longer piece. And then apparently I glue that on, but I'm gonna go ahead and zip this all the way up. Yes. Oh, the hot glue is getting so stuck in the zipper. I fully anticipated this. Ah, you can do it, zipper. You can do it. Oh, yes, it is going. Yes. And that's as far as it goes. Oh no, it keeps going. I could have zipped it all the way up to here. Oh, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna keep going then. Okay, I finished zipping it up. Okay! Yeah, so here's our bag! Oh, I accidentally made it so that it doesn't <laughs> zip all the way up, though. Oops. Uh, did it show you how to end it? I don't think it did. Oh, these are supposed to... No, I did it wrong. Well, it's close enough to being a bag. It's like a, a, a tube thing that unzips? Yeah. Now I have a little freaking pencil bag, uh, so I guess I'm gonna have to say this one freaking works! <laughs> First, I'm gonna need a cup. Wait, this one should do perfectly. Okay, guys, so first things first, we grab our cup, and we grab our water, grab Tori's keys. Now we have to fill this up. Yeah, that looks like it'll be full enough. And we put our keys in there, put our top on, and we just flip it over. You guys ready? One, two, and... Okay, it's not leaking. It's good. No, oh! The water leaked out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, and uh, it looks like it's working. No water's really leaking out. Now time to test this out on Tori. I'm Tori Dabransky. I have something to show you. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Tori, I put your keys in there. Why? Now you have to try and get it out. No. Oh, what? No, she figured it out. What? No, she happened. outsmarted You're me. I'm supposed to do it like this. Got it all over my There you go. What? No, I can't pick it up. Fransky, what am I supposed to do with this? Well, guys, I guess we could say that this one doesn't work because it obviously backfired. Okay, how the heck am I supposed to get this, Tori? You don't. Uh, <laughs> yay! So here's our bag of Doritos. First, we gotta take all these chips out. We don't need these anymore. And we're gonna go ahead and get our gummy worms. We're just gonna put all these bad boys in the Doritos. Oh yeah, perfect. Tortobransky will never tell the difference. Yeah, that should be enough. Now let's go ahead and seal this up with our parchment paper. Okay, get our parchment paper, kinda line it up like that, put it over. Then we get our flat iron, and we kinda just do this. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna work. Oh no, it melts in the bag. I hope she doesn't notice. Well, let's test this bad boy out on Tori. Tori Dabransky, you know how you said you wanted Doritos earlier? Heck yeah. Well, here's some Doritos. Aw, oh, thank you. I know you wanted them. They're so heavy and they're squishy. <laughs> it's a new kind of Doritos. Well, the package must have gotten uh, uh, ruined in packaging. In a fire? Oh. It doesn't look like Doritos. <laughs> I got you! You can pray! Thank you. I'm just kidding, Tori Dabransky. Here's some real Doritos. Oh, thank you. Well, I'll see you later. With my next not prank that I won't, I, I'll totally not be pranking you with. <laughs> the, with no more pranks today. Okay, so here are our fake nails. Can't really see them very well. Uh, sorry about that. Here's our nail polish. So I guess the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, paint these bad boys. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do pink, blue, pink, blue, pink, blue. Let's do this. I am the, the master, master at painting nails. If you guys didn't know. Dude, you can't even see these nails right now. I'm gonna fix that. Dude, I'm gonna need a lot of nail polish for this one. In case you guys are wondering uh, why I'm doing them so long, it's so that I can write a lot of stuff down. Ugh, I should probably wear gloves for this. Oh, here we go. Let's freaking do this. Wow, turns out this is a lot harder to do in gloves. Okay, one done. Woo! I think I might need to get some ventilation in here. Oh my gosh. Guys, as you know, I am a master crafter, but I'm also a freaking beauty guru. Oh, they're all sticking to my head. Yeah, that purple's looking pretty, or that pink's looking pretty good. Now for the blue. Why are they sticking to my fingers? Oh my freaking stop. Oh my god. They all like flipped over. Stop it! They're all sticking to me! Oh, dude, that actually looks really cool on the pink. I'm gonna like splatter these. And then I'll do the blue with pink. Dude, these are gonna look so cool actually. 
Dude, these are awesome. I really like the colors, actually. Oh, no. Too much blue. Too much blue. Okay. Now I'm going to put some pink on the blue. Yes. Dude, this is a masterpiece. Oh, I actually really like this. Okay, awesome. Now I just got to let these bad boys dry. Well guys, it looks like these are all freaking ready to go. Now I just got to glue them to my nails. Let's do this. Yes. Oh, I should probably lay it out first. So, okay, cool. I'm gonna glue these on my fingers. Let's hope I don't mess this up. And here we go. And apparently, <gasps> wait, I was supposed to write my message on here first. Oh, that, ugh, that was a close call. Oh my gosh. What do I do with this? I need to write my messages. So luckily I have some pink and blue notepads that I can just kind of put on the inside of these. And then I'll just like, uh, I guess tape it or whatever the inside. So what do I need to write on this? Uh, let's see. Uh, what are things that I need to remember? Ooh, okay. I'll do my grocery list. Or no, I'll do my chores list. Take out trash. That'll fit in there fine. Yes, that is perfect. Awesome. Eat my vegetables. Cool. Always good to remember. What are some other important things I need to remember in life? Uh, take the bench on a walk. Get in there! Uh, what else? Tie shoelaces. These are some life hacks, if you will. Remember how I do these things? You're gonna be good. You're gonna be set for life. Uh, what's another thing that's important? Uh, um, call your mom. I should probably do that more often. Sorry, mom. Anyway, how the heck am I gonna get these? <gasps> I can just use the nail glue. Yes! It makes perfect sense. Put the nail glue to stick things to your nails. And it appears that it's working perfectly. <gasps> no! The glue stuck in my hand! The whole bottle. Okay, those are all done. Now I gotta stick them on my freaking hand. This is the part that's gonna suck a little bit. Okay, now to stick these puppies on. So I'll start with the pinky again. Get on there. Oh, that one's stuck on like immediately. Okay, and it looks like I am all freaking good. Wow, these are awesome. My freaking Wolverine. Ow! Ooh, that hurt. Oh. How am I ever gonna get these off? Oh no. Well, might as well show Tori. Go oh, Tori to Bransky. You wanna see my new manicure? What? Are yeah. You ready? <gasps> that is gorgeous. Do you like that? I love it, but that's so scary though. Oh my god, try petting Benji. Ben, and one of the best part? What? I'll always remember to uh, uh, tie my shoes and, uh, <laughs> wait, and wait, take wait. out the trash. Wow. Yeah, I'm oh. cheating at life. You understand? Pick bench on walk. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Aren't you supposed to like put test stuff in here then? I don't go to school. Oh, true. That's great. Do they come off? Oh! <laughs> Does it hurt? How do I get these off? Um, what did you use on it? Nail glue. Uh, you can't really take them off. No, no, don't tell me that. Tori, no. no, how do I get these off? Well, you have to either, are they actually like stuck off? Ow! Stop. Yes! Ow, oh, stop. That hurts. No, you're joking. Ow. Are you joking? Why would I be sorry? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to get these off. Oh, well, you can't. No. Yeah, they're on for like a month. No. Yeah, I'm sorry. Did you no. not know that? No, you're joking. No, you have, you have to like take them off Ow. like that. <laughs> People, you apparently use their credit cards to like pry them off. I could try with my nail. Yeah, but no, you have to like pry oh. them off. Oh, no. I did tell you that as soon as you got them. Be careful what you see your fingers with. Okay, well, thanks. Good luck, I'm glad you like my nails. I like them. I'm stuck with these for a freaking while, Wait, I guess. Wait, my head. It's good. More pressure. But it hurts. Oh, really? Oh. How are you going to film with this? I didn't think of that. <laughs> Is this the first time you did today? Yes. Oh, no. The rest of the video, you're just going to have, like, one hand with, like, stupid lug nails. I outnailed everyone. Take that. Oh, they look great. Well, have a good day. Well, I'll see you later. I love you. Okay, bye. bye. Okay guys, so here's our band. Just kidding, not a rock band. Just a regular old watch band. Okay, so we got our band. Here's our apple. Just gotta cut our apple up. Oh, that is one juicy apple. Don't need that anymore. Probably eat it later. Then we get our hot glue gun. And just kind of hot glue this apple core onto the band. Just like that. Is it sticking? No, it didn't stick. Maybe I have to give it some like grooves or something. It probably also doesn't help that it's wet. Hot glue doesn't really stick to wet things very well. Okay, we're just going to leave it like that. Good enough for five minute crash. Then we get our box. I couldn't find an Apple Watch box, so I guess this is going to have to do. Just put that in there. You can't even see the band in there. I should have chose like a different color band or something. Okay, now time to test this bad boy out on tour. All right, Bransky. Yes? You know how I, you know, won the lottery earlier this year? Uh, what do you mean? Well, here you go. I got you an Apple Watch. They come in these new fancy boxes, you see. Wow. 
It's an <gasps> Apple Watch. How I've always wanted one of these. Is this the one that you can like tell how much you move? Yeah, ex exactly. It's oh, really this... good. I think this is good. Oh, oops. Um, I'm sorry I broke your gift already. <laughs> Tori, how dare you? I'm so sorry. I spent so much money on that. I'm sorry. You're the prank. That's not even a real Apple Watch. What? Right? Oh my god, I feel so stupid now. I, I should have known. <laughs> I can't believe Tori Dabransky actually fell for that. Sorry, here, here you go. You're just giving me back my gift? Yeah. Tori Dabransky. I broke it, I don't need it anymore. Wow, okay. You, you'll regret this, Tori Dabransky. Yeah. You'll regret this. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one because, frankly, you have no skin. I'm sorry about that, bud. You can chill out right here if you want. There you go. Okay, guys, so here's our baby. Now we have to do a little bit of surgery on this little guy. I'm really sorry about this in advance. So here's some scissors, and then it looks like this is kind of being held on with, like, a zip tie. I'm gonna see if I can uh, just kind of pull it off. It's just, like, a little lip right here. It just needs to come off. Okay, I'm just gonna cut the zip tie. There we go, and... Haha! -ha. Easy peasy. Ooh, that looks a little gnarly. Okay, next arm. Haha! -ha. Okay, awesome. We have acquired all of our arms and legs. I probably didn't have to cut off the baby head. Well, we don't need the body anymore. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of clean these up really quick. Yeah, honestly, that looks a lot better. One down. And we're good. Hi, I'm right hand. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm left hand. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Ooh, I wonder if it would look funny if I... Oh, this looks so strange. Oh, no. <laughs> this is nightmare fuel if I've ever seen it. Hello, I'm Baby Hand. Nice to meet you. Oh, man. This is like the definition of nightmare fuel right here. I'm not sleeping tonight. Anyway, get off of me. Ah, I'm stuck! Oh, ow. That was close. Okay, so I gotta say that this one seems pretty easy. All I gotta do is glue some baby pieces to my face. Well, guys, let's go ahead and start off on the right foot. Uh, well, this is actually the left foot. You guys get the point. Here's our eyelash glue. Just gonna go ahead and... Boop, boop, boop. I love eyelash glue. You can use it for everything. But honestly, it's kind of hard to get off your face. Kind of dab that on there. Aha. I'm just gonna stick this on my face. Hopefully it actually sticks. And... It doesn't look like it wants to stick. Maybe I gotta cut it a little bit more even. There we go. Maybe that'll do it. And clean my face off really quick. Yeah, looks good. Ready? One, two, and just stay on my face, please. Maybe I should add some more eyelash glue. Yeah, get in there. I feel like I probably have to hold this a little bit longer. I don't have the attention span for this. It keeps falling off. Maybe if I squeeze a leg. Oh, dude, I don't even need eyelash glue. I could just make it suction onto my face. Why didn't I think of this? Now I have eyelash glue on my face. Great. And... Oh my gosh, this is pretty good. This would kind of hurt to leave on for any length of time though. My face is already starting to hurt a little bit. Ugh, you don't even need freaking eyelash glue for this. I feel so, this was a waste of time. This one was a waste of time. Anyway guys, let's go ahead and show Tori. Oh Tori Dabransky. You ready? Here it is. Don't I look really good? You look like a beetle. I'm a baby face. I can hold you while I kiss you. Come here. Oh, my arm fell off. Wait, I want to caress you before I kiss you. Yes, caress. That's horrifying. Do you like it? I was sitting here and all I heard you say was, time to glue some baby pieces to my face. <laughs> like, oh, can you put it on your nose? I don't think so. I don't think that's going to work, Tori. Ow! You got snapped really hard. <laughs> Ugh, I don't like this. Oh, right on the forehead. You have to kind of like squeeze this part. <laughs> I am also baby face now. Hi, baby face. Thanks. I'm baby face. It's, it's very nice <laughs> to meet you. Well, guys, I guess we could say that this one works. Anyway, guys, I would say that this is a pretty good prank. Uh, the only thing is it costs an arm and a leg. Anyway, let's go do the next one. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is some chocolate. Then we're gonna need an egg. Nope, 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 nope. Here we go, perfect. Now I just need one of these babies. Eeny, meeny, body bo, catch a chicken by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, money. 
Looks like you're the unlucky one, buddy. Okay, we got our egg. Now we just need to get a straw and some super glue, so. Oh, hello, Bulbasaur. What's this in your ear? There we go. Aha! Now apparently we just have to glue this straw to the egg. Just do that really quick. Ah, the glue's not coming out. What do I do? You guys can see this egg very well. There we go. Now what do I do? Just hold it? Uh, I hope this actually works. I'm gonna blow on it to make it dry faster. I don't know if it'll work or not. You can do it straw. You can do it super glue dry. I'm gonna put some more on. I feel like this is a good enough. Although it feels kind of dangerous that he's gonna be eating a super glue egg. I don't know how I feel about this. I guess I'll just give that a second to dry maybe. Oh my God, I got some on my hands burning. Okay, it's been like 10 minutes. Apparently this is supposed to dry in 60 seconds. Let's see if it's all good. Nope, that fell right off. And I got it all over my hand. How am I supposed to get that off? Uh -huh. Okay, you know what? I don't need this dart super glue straw. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe the super glue off and uh, melt some chocolate. I'm gonna do it without the straw. I don't need this stupid straw. Save the turtle. Let's go ahead and put some of this bad boy in the microwave. Toss that baby in there. Two minutes and start. Okay. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty melted. Let's just toss our egg in there. There we go. Yeah, I don't need that dumb straw. All I need is this spoon. Save the turtle. Unless you don't believe in that sort of thing. You know, saving turtles, I mean. I think I'm supposed to wait for it to uh, harden, actually. Okay, that looks pretty uh, covered in chocolate. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put it in a bowl. There we go. I think to make it cool faster, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the freezer. And there we go. Wow, I have so many snacks in here. Might as well grab one. Smooch, 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 smooch. I have a snack to eat while I'm waiting. Okay, how are we looking? Yeah, that uh, that feels pretty solid. Okay, let's go on to the next step. Okay, yeah, frozen solid, perfect. I mean, we got a little bit of a mess up on the back, but that's fine, not a big deal. If all pork chops were perfect, we wouldn't have hot dogs. I stole that from Steven Universe, so. Then we go ahead and get our real Kinder Egg. Take that out. What? That's so funny, they actually keep the toys in a separate thing instead of putting it inside the Kinder Egg now. Anyway, don't eat that anymore. Here's the chocolate part right here. What even? I've actually never seen a Kinder Egg in real life. Like, they were illegal for most of my life. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop all that out. What even is this? Is this chocolate? Um, nom, nom, nom. No, I definitely think that's chocolate. Scoop all that out. Um, nom, nom. Okay, there we go. Let me just go ahead and put this egg inside of this one. Oh, it actually fits. Perfect. Okay, cool. Now let's go ahead and test this out on Johnny. Hey, Johnny Gilbert. Johnny, Johnny, I have a special treat for you. Oh, goody. I know how much you love chocolate. I don't. <laughs> oh. It's a chocolate egg, Johnny. That's... I know how much you love those. Yeah, I made it. I, I I didn't make it. I mean, I I bought it especially for you. This looks terrible. No, Johnny, it's good. You, it's nutritious. Do you really want me to bite into this? That's Johnny. Just do. It. <laughs> is this is this really a Kinder Egg? Yeah, that's one hundred percent a Kinder Egg. Oh, okay. Have I ever lied to you? No, I've never had one. Let's try it. Um, um, um. Oh wow. I tricked you! You've been pranked! I have no idea! That's not a Kinder Egg, that's a real egg! You want to show No, I'm good. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'll see you later. Oh. I have to get salmonella. Are you going to go? Take a regular hoodie and stick a balloon where the head goes. Cut out a life-size picture of your head and place it over the balloon. With tape on top and place it on the toilet bowl. Ah! Huh? Okay, so the first thing I need is a photo of my face. So how about, uh, we'll do that right now and... Okay. Uh, I didn't account for my face being so small, so I actually printed out a slightly bigger one. It's still a little bit smaller than my face, but I think it'll do. <laughs> now I grab one of my hoodies. <sighs> Rip hoodie. You are a good hoodie. You're gonna be in the toilet today. I'm really sorry about that. Put a balloon in there. Yeah, that should be the right size. Now I'm gonna shove my face into the hoodie. Not my real face, my printed out face. Oh no. <laughs> Oh man, I already feel like this is gonna pop. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go ahead and tape it in place. I don't know how much good this will really do though, but you know, we'll try it. Dude, this is so weird. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what have I done? Yeah? Oh no. My mouth is all messed up. Uh, yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna tie the strings. It's perfect. Okay, now let's go put this in the toilet. Oh hey Chris, don't mind me. I'm just uh, using the bathroom. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, poor sweater. Okay, hope it's worth the joke. Okay, ready? Oh no, it doesn't go down. Okay, close enough. Now let's try it out on Chris. 
Oh my god, there's something in the toilet. It's really? moving. I don't know what it Whoa. was. I'm so scared. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, Chris. Uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, Can you open it for me? Are you sure? Dude, I don't know what this the toilet is. Yes, something? that one. That oh, very one. I doubt there's anything in here. Oh! 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 It's a baby you! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what is this, dude? What is that? I didn't say I made Oh is that what you've been doing in there? Yeah. Oh, geez, dude, I've been waiting. I wasted my perfect looking sweater on. You it's wasted like, oh, like a half hour of my life waiting on the bathroom. For that? Come on, man. Chris, you've been pranked. I guess we can say that this one works. That is a crazy pic. You have crazy eyes in that picture. <laughs> Did you do that on purpose? <laughs> Get it out, I gotta go. It's so over dramatic. <laughs> Add a few spoons of gelatin to milk. Mix it and heat it up in a microwave. Put it into a fridge. Take it out of the bowl when it hardens. Cut the excess jelly so that it looks like a bar of butter. Okay, so here's our bowl. Here's our gelatin. Yes. Put that in there. Looks good. Don't need that anymore. Here's some milk. That should do it. Now we just give this a good old mix. That looks pretty good. Now we just have to put this bad boy in the microwave. Okay. That's nice and hot. Another mix just to be safe. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this thing because it's a little bit more square, like butter. Hopefully that's enough. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the fridge and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, yeah. Wow, this looks surprisingly a lot like butter. Wow, that turned out a lot better than I expected. Now we just gotta take it out. Uh, maybe just... Uh-oh. Maybe if we... It's not coming out! Maybe if I just get a spoon and kind of like... Uh, I think it might do it! Woo! It's coming out! Yes! Wow! This is hilarious. This could be like skin or something. Dude, that is crazy. Okay, let's go ahead and cut it in the shape of butter. What? Yeah, that's uh, that's good enough. Okay. Put the rest back. Let's go ahead and test this out on Chris. Hey, Hair Jordan! Hi. How you doing? Uh, good. I'm really sorry for the prank that I did earlier. Um, How would you like some um, fresh toast and some homemade butter? I just made it yesterday. I love toast and butter. It's like my favorite thing. Dude, per okay, perfect. Yeah, let's make some let's let's make some toast. All right. Let's put these in here. We're good. Now we just gotta. Uh, now all we gotta do is wait. Okay, it looks like the toast's all done. Here's our butter. You want me to do it or I'll butter it. You butter it up. Please? I love butter toast. Yeah. Yes, dude. dude you are. Oh my gosh, you're, dude, you're gonna love this butter. Sorry, the texture's a little weird. I'm still kind of. Dude. I'm still kind of like uh, making it. <laughs> this isn't butter, dude. No, this that is butter. butter. Taste no. it. It's butter. This is string it's cheese. String taste cheese. it, really? You want me to taste straight butter? Dude, straight butter does not taste dude, good. What is this? It does not taste good There's by itself. <laughs> is this skim milk? There's like no taste. You've been pranked. Dang it. That's milk in gelatin. That is so <laughs> gross, dude. It tastes like rubber. Oh my god. Ah! Put butter next to my worm. You want some worm? That's really weird, dude. That is really weird. What is wrong with this place? Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. How is it? It's good butter. The real butter's good. <laughs>Okay, so this was the only hollow chocolate I could find. It's a giant Ferrero Rocher, not sponsored by the way. And instead of using mustard, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use barbecue sauce. That way he can't tell the difference. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, take this off, I guess. Yes. And we're gonna go ahead and get a drill. Drill the bottom. Here we go, wish me luck. Hope this doesn't get everywhere. Oh, crud. Yes! Okay, yeah, it looks good. Now we just get our barbecue sauce and put it in there. Here we go. Oh man, this is nice. Like it's gonna be awful. Okay, so I put about half the bottle in there. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna seal this up. I didn't think about that. Maybe if I use some of this tin foil, that'll work. Let's go and hot glue some of that tin foil. I have to wait for this to heat up. Dang it. Okay, yeah, let's glue this puppy on. Okay, just uh, put that on there. Slap that on. Ow! Man, that's hot. That looks good. And we're gonna go hot glue this back on. Yeah, let's pr ow! Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let the hot glue cool down a little bit. Then we'll try it out on John. Hey, Johnny, I got you something. Oh. Would you like to try it? Uh, is it chocolate? I got you this giant chocolate. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I'd love this. Open it up. I want to I wanna watch you eat okay, it. Okay, how do I even open this? It's a prank that I don't know how to open it. I don't know. I've <laughs> never actually had one of these before. Uh, oh, wait. I got I got, I got I got it. Uh, do I need scissors? Um, I think you might need scissors. All right. There we go. 
All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Why is it all golden? This That's is crazy. A whoa. Yo, I guess it's stuck on the bottom. Here, maybe, how do you open this thing? <laughs> this was a lot more complicated than I thought. I know. Give me the chocolate. You've got this chocolate. You can, uh, oh gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. Why did, they, why did they make this so hard to open? Yeah, Um. I don't know. Wait, 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 is this it? <laughs> Okay, I got okay. it. Okay. That should just pop off. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, I know. Isn't that a lot of chocolate? That's a lot of chocolate. Holy crap. That's a lot of chocolate. Wow. Uh, Here, take a bite. Just, just eat it. Just okay. take a pill. It's good? I mean, it's fine, yeah. Is it? It tastes kind of weird. <laughs> oh, what's in it? Ah! You open! Oh, there's sauce on it. Yeah. There's sauce inside of it. What is this? You would have never Ew. known. There's sauce inside of the chocolate. It's barbecue sauce. Oh, that's really gross. You got it right at like the peak area too. Oh, it's all over my mouth. Mm. The actual chocolate's pretty good. Maybe we'll have some more. Yeah, you want some barbecue sauce? You thought it was chocolate sauce, didn't you? I thought it was like chocolate sauce. In his defense, it does kind of look like chocolate sauce. <laughs> well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. You've been pranked. That was gross. So here are our pans, here's our drink, and here's our needles. Yeah, this ought to do. So it looks like the first step is to kind of like, they use this side, I'm pretty sure. They, they did this side. So I need to somehow figure out how to string this string through this needle. Oh, I dropped it on the floor. That's so scary. Okay, I got it. Here we go. Easy peasy, lab it squeezy. And then it looked like they just did one stitch. They didn't do double stitch. So I think I have to tie it like that. How do I do? So it looks like they started off kind of at like the belt loop and then they went down. Okay, nice. Gotta keep doing this, I guess. I just gotta turn around. Okay, so we got all the ones going down done. Now it's time to do the ones going across. <sighs> this took me like probably close to an hour to do, so. Uh... <laughs> oh, okay, so it's all done. I mean, I think it looks pretty good. Not bad. I mean, it's no five minute crafts work, but you know. I think I did a pretty freaking good job. I'm gonna go ahead and try these on and see how they look. You guys in? Yeah, so here they are. Yeah, I don't think they look too bad. I mean, would I wear these out in public? Probably. Would I spend a bunch of money on them? No. Was it a fun craft? I mean, uh, I don't know. <laughs> now that's a hard question to answer. But I guess we can say that works. Woo! New cool pants. I think this calls for a cool pants dance. Just watch me. Cool pants dance. Cool pants dance. Okay, I think that's enough of that. Okay guys, so here's our Pringles can. And we're actually gonna use a recycled background. You see how we got stuff on it? We're recycling this bad boy. Here we go. Let's just measure our Pringles can. We're gonna get this razor. Just gotta guesstimate it, you know? Nothing has to be perfect. Yeah. And we just go ahead and put this around. It has to be just a little bit loose. Then we get some tape. Just gotta tape it on there. Cut this off so there's no extra. These will always be the death of me because I never cut them correctly. I need a hack to be able to cut things straight. That's what I need. Looks pretty good. It slips up and down. Now we're gonna go ahead and make our little hole. Boopity boop. Yeah, that should uh, that should be good enough. Maybe a little bit bigger. You know what? It's close enough. Now we go ahead and add our candy. In this case, it's sour Skittles. These are my favorite. I probably attribute all my freaking cavities to these dang things. Okay, you guys ready to test this puppy out? Woo, here we go. Shake it up a little bit. Wait, I need to add the pens, otherwise it won't work. There we go. I added the pens. It looks like a normal uh, pen holder now. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Here we go. And dispense candy. I made the hole a little too small. It's okay. Nothing a little pair of scissors won't fix. Okay. Oh, let's try this again. One, two, and woo. One skull. Woo. More skull. I haven't had candy in like two months. This is crazy. Oh, some good stuff. Well, guys, I guess we can tell you that this one works. So many Skittles. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so first off, it looks like I'm gonna need some sticks. So what I'm gonna do is grab my war pole really quick. Oh, yeah, here we go. We're gonna jump right in. You ready? One, two. I made it out, perfect. I forgot my shoe. Okay, we're good. Now what we gotta do is find some sticks. Benji, can you help me find some sticks, buddy? Where are they? You see him? He did it, he found a little one, it's perfect. Now I just need a bunch more of these. What if instead of sticks, I just take a bunch of these leaves and I just use those instead? I'm sure it'll work, what do you think, Benji? Okay, so here's our shirt. Lay that out. Oh, this already has a stain on the back. Oh yeah, I forgot I used this for a hat. Well, might as well recycle an old shirt. Then we get our leaves. Maybe just sprinkle them around a little bit so it looks nice. Yeah. Put these twigs down. Just leaves everywhere. Woo! Yeah, it looks good. Next, I'm gonna need some paint. Ha ha! Perfect. Now that we have our paint, we're just gonna get a toothbrush. And then we're just gonna kind of put some of the paint on there. And apparently you're supposed to just kind of flick it like this. Oh man, this is gonna take a while. I think uh, it's supposed to be wet. So I'm gonna get some water really quick. Here's our water. Dump that in. Here we go. Oh, that's working so much better. Yeah! Put some more paint on there. Yeah! This is still gonna take forever. I'm creating art, guys. Ugh, my hands are so dirty. I feel like it would be a lot easier if I just used a can of spray paint, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. So here we go. Kinda give it some distance. Ah, oh, that's spraying it away. I gotta do it from farther like this. Woo! I need a mask. Woo! Yeah, this guy should definitely do the trick. Woo! Always wear protection, kids. Yeah, that looks good. Now let's add maybe a little bit of black. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry for a little bit, and then we'll see how it turned out. But first, I'm gonna turn a fan on. Woo! Gotta air it out in here. It's getting kind of kind of misty. You're supposed to be spraying this only in ventilated areas. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, we let it dry. Um, let's uh take all this stuff off. Wow. I mean, this is kind of a cool pattern. <laughs> I definitely did this wrong. I was definitely supposed to use sticks. But I mean, it still looks cool. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It almost looks like birds or something. I don't know how to describe it. <sighs> okay, let's put this bad boy on. <sighs> Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Well, it doesn't look like I need this shirt anymore. <laughs> oh, anyway, I think I did a pretty good job with this shirt considering that I made it with spray paint and leaves. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wear this shirt every day now. Well guys, I guess we can say that this one works. Okay guys, so I actually did this one to Chris before and he really freaking fell for it. Literally. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think he's gonna fall for it again. So, instead of taping his shoes to the floor, I'm gonna go ahead and screw them to the floor. And in addition to that, I'm gonna put mouse traps inside them so he can't get out. <laughs> now let's do this. Yeah, it's perfect. This looks like a pretty good spot. Here we go. Oh no, the screws aren't long enough. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. And another. Yes! Yeah! These are solid! Gotta add the mouse traps. Oh man, I hope I don't freaking break my finger doing this. Man, this is so scary. There we go. There's one. Gotta do this really carefully. Real careful. Oh gosh. There we go. Now let's try this out on Chris. Oh hey, you're Jordan! Uh, hey dude, so I got you some cool shoes to match your cool pink shirt. Really? Uh, yeah, they're Gummy pink. Shoes. All you gotta do is slide them on. They're right there. You don't even have to. Yeah, yeah, dude, just just try them on. Go for it. Oh! 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 my God! What happened? Oh! Oh! Freaking got you! You put a mouse trap in my shoe and I and screwed the shoes down so you couldn't get out. Why would you do this? You been freaking prank, dude! Dang, dude. Is there another one in the other one? No! I ah, ah, you said there wasn't one in that one! Oh, ah, You've been freaking double pranked! I'm just gonna take these shoes and leave, dude. You really? I screwed them down so you couldn't escape the mousetrap! You've been triple pranked! I'm out of here. I can't believe it. Why would you do that? <laughs> well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one freaking works! Oh 
Okay, so this one seems a little bit complicated. We get our box, we got our silly string, take that off. Then we get our zip ties. Okay, get some shorter zip ties. Now we need to fit this in the box. So I guess like that. Get our X-Acto knife. Put a zip tie right there. One right there should work. And then one right there. Cool. Gonna make these holes a little bigger. Okay, that ought to do it. Zip tie this bad boy in. Looks like it's just a little bit too short. So I'm just gonna do this. Okay, got that one. Need use a little longer one this time. Oh yeah, that's pretty secure. Snip that off. Oh no, I was supposed to put the zip tie over this first. Uh, let's see if I can do it still. I did this so wrong. Okay, I think I have to cut this out. Okay. So I need to do this with the zip ties. Okay, it looks like this one isn't gonna work. Yeah, cut that whole part out. <laughs> okay, like that. So we do it just like this. Aha! Did we figure it out? Tape this on, just like that. That ought to do it. Wait, is this too short? Aw, oh, man! That's not gonna do it. How would I even make this happen? There's just more like this, I think. Yeah, that looks better. Hmm, this is such a weird one. Maybe that'll do something? Is that gonna do anything? Oh, shit. Did I ruin it? Oh, I think I ruined it. Ah! Dang it! Okay, I gotta redo this. Okay, so after messing around, I'm pretty sure I got it correctly. So now I'm gonna tape it in place. So like that, and then like that. Basically make sure that the, the bottom piece doesn't move. And I think I messed up again. Okay, I think I might have gotten it this time. Oh shoot, moved! Okay, I'm fairly confident that this is going to work. Pull it down a little bit. Mm. This whole zip tie broke. Man, this is so complicated. This took me well over five minutes to do. Come on. Okay, I think it's really close. If someone were to pull that, I'm pretty sure it would go off. Now we're gonna zip tie it in place. Cut a little hole right there. This is such a complicated prank. Holy I love it. Cut that one. Then the next one. Okay, now I gotta cut a hole for where the silly string's gonna come out. I guess this is where it's coming out. Oops, I missed the hole. Maybe that'll do it. Yeah. Okay, that should do it. Let's hope that they don't actually see this. Now it's time to wrap this bad boy up. I am so bad at wrapping things. What the heck? Wrapping paper. Put our package here. I'm gonna make it so that this is the, the, the best size. So I guess do it like this. Okay, Chris, here's your present, my man. Here you go. Now you gotta pull it. You gotta pull it. It's like a chainsaw or something. <laughs> We're gonna lose a hand. Sick, dude. I think you it's broke silly it. silly string. That's it, cool. It I love it. It was supposed to, it was supposed to. It didn't work! It didn't work! It didn't work! All of my money back, crappy pants! Ow, my foot! Okay guys, so Chris is currently in the bath. And unfortunately due to supply and demand, I couldn't get myself a fake hand in time. But I do have a bunch of fake tongues. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So instead, I'm just gonna go ahead and drill my tongue to my desk and then I'm just gonna start yelling and we're gonna see his reaction. This is gonna be great. Let's do this. Ah! Here we go. Put our tongue right here. Get our screw. Put that through right there. Here we go. Oh no, my tongue, it's spinning! Oh my gosh. Oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, yes! Oh, okay guys, what do you think? Yeah, I think this is gonna work really good. Let's test it out on Chris. Okay guys, you ready? Jump through the portal for this? He'll be back. <laughs> Oh, okay, perfect. This one should do. Okay, here we go. Now here's our scissors. Let's go ahead and do some surgery here, guys. Sorry about this, princess. I need it big enough so that my head fits. I think that might work. Okay, let's go ahead and test this out. Here we go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that down, and boom! I am now the princess. How'd they get it to stick? Oh, so they put tape and string. I can't believe I forgot about that part. Okay, back to the drawing board, guys. Okay, so here's our string. Put that off to the side for a sec. I'm gonna need some tape. Uh, here's our tape. I'm not sure if this is gonna be strong enough, but you know, we have to try. Cut our string, and then just gotta tape it on. 
and I just ran out of tape. I'm gonna go ahead and use this tape now. I feel like it'll be a lot stronger anyway, so. Boom, bam, eating ham. Okay, yeah, looks good. Let's go ahead and try this puppy on. Okay, here's our calendar thing. How the heck am I supposed to tie this on? Uh, tie the string first. It's like an apron. Okay, yeah. Just gotta tie it just like that. Okay, I am now the princess of Hyrule. Let's go ahead and show Tori. Oh, Tori Dabransky. Want to see my new costume? Do you like it? Are you marked? Are you a calendar? I am the princess of Hyrule. Can you, like, one of oh, you could almost, it could be linked with a really tiny body. It's an interchangeable costume. I like being the princess. What do you think? Is it a good costume? Oh, it's great. Rate this costume out of 10. I would give it a one. Benji doesn't like it. You're giving this costume a one? I give it a one. <laughs> Tori, I spent minutes on this costume, okay? It's a pretty good costume. It, I mean, it's not bad. Well, guys, one out of 10. I guess we could say this one worked. <laughs> Barely. Little water to gelatin to make thick jelly. Put it into a microwave. Add ketchup and stir well. Pour the fluid into silicone molds and put them into the fridge. Take the cool jelly out of the molds. Okay, guys, here's our bowl. Here's our gelatin. Just gonna put some of that in there. How much does this make? It doesn't even say. It makes up to one cup. Okay, so I don't really need that much. So let's put our water in. Get in there. Let's go ahead and mix this up. It kind of looks like applesauce. I feel like I need to add more water. Here we go. Yeah, that looks a little better. Looks good. Let's toss this bad boy in the microwave. There we go. One minute. Start. Let that cook for a second. Okay, that's all done. Now we just gotta add some ketchup. Mix this up. Oh, that smells so not good. It Okay, yeah, that looks about right. Now let's go toss this in the fridge for an hour. Okay, so it's all done, and I kind of forgot to put it inside the Jello mold, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell him that it's Jello, and hopefully he'll fall for it. <laughs> oh, okay, let's test this out on Chris. Hey, I'm Jordan. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, I I made you some Jello. Do you want some? Yeah, I'll have some Jello. I love what flavor Jello is this? Oh, this is uh, this is uh, it's strawberry fl flavor. Well, it feels like actual Jello, so. <laughs> Okay, let's do the next prank. <laughs> okay, so first we're gonna need a tissue or toilet paper. Aha! Uh -huh. Perfect. Then we're gonna need some flour. Yeah, that'll do. So we just uh, take some of this out. And we just kind of sprinkle some flour all over it. Kind of fold it up, and it's perfect. I don't think Tori will ever suspect a thing. Let's go test it out on Tori. Oh, hey, Tori Dabransky! I don't want you. I see it. It's falling everywhere on me. Tori, you have something in your nose. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you have to blow your nose. Yeah. There's definitely nothing suspicious about <laughs> Tori Dabransky, you have something in your nose. Yeah. Here you go. I don't think there's anything left in it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you got it all over your shirt. No. You've been pranked. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. Does it though? Does it really? I'd say it does. I pranked you. You've been pranked. Uh, Tori Dabransky, this is the grade A prank. You understand? That's a grade A. 10 out of 10. Best, best prank ever. Okay, well, I'll see you later. Goodbye. So the first thing I'm gonna need is uh, a glue stick. So uh, here we go. Perfect. Now what do I do with this? Oh, I gotta put my hair out of the way. Dang it. Okay, okay guys, I am going to be putting my hair up. Don't make fun of me, okay? I'm very sensitive about my forehead. Look how wrinkly it is. Anyway, I need a hair tie. Twitter Bransky, can I borrow a hair tie? <laughs> We're back with our hair tie. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know, put my hair up. I'm gonna go full palm tree today, standing straight up. You know, oh my gosh, it's so long. It's like almost one whole head length. It's a really tall 
palm tree I got there. <laughs> now that we're full palm tree, I have to put this glue all over my eyebrows and this is gonna be awful and I already know it. Yep, oh, my poor eyebrows. I really hope this doesn't pull out my eyebrows or something. Yeah, so just put it everywhere. So I need to cover up my eyebrows. And then I don't have any translucent powder, but I do have this uh, basic powder. So th this is what we're gonna use. I need a brush. Do I really not have any paint brushes? I'm the king of crap! How do I not have a freaking brush? Okay, I guess that just means that I have to use the one that came with the little uh, uh, powder thing. I don't use it anyway, so what's it matter? I just didn't want to use my nice brush because then I feel like this would ruin it probably. It's just glue though. Like this thing doesn't feel like it's getting ruined. Are my eyebrows going away? Not really. I think I gotta put more. I'm also getting it all over my eyes. What do you guys think? My eyebrows going away? Maybe I need to put even more. Uh, yep, I think that's as good as we're gonna get. Oh, okay, now we're gonna go ahead and get our cover-up makeup. And I also need some brushes to help put this stuff on. Uh, let's see, where did I put them? Okay, let's see, where did I put those dang things? Uh, oh, there they are. Uh, good enough. Okay, we got our little brush, perfect. Focus on the brush. Do you see it? Do you see it? It's going on my forehead now. Is it covering up my eyebrows? I mean, kind of. My eyebrows look very weird. I think I was supposed to brush my eyebrows down, actually. That would probably make a lot of sense. And I didn't do it, and now you can see my eyebrows still. I'm just gonna put more makeup until I fix it. Why am I using this? I have an actual beauty blender. It's also really dirty, so... Yeah! Maybe I was supposed to wait for the glue to dry? It just doesn't want to make my eyebrow disappear. Dude, covering your eyebrows is so hard. I think it's not going away because I was supposed to brush them down more, probably. I messed up, I'm sorry. Maybe if I put more powder, it'll help. Yeah, these definitely look like eyebrows. <laughs> well, you know what? I tried. Anyway, let's go on to the next step. Then we go ahead and get our liquid latex. Oh boy, this looks yummy. Okay, and uh, here we go. Trying to put it down our nose like that. Then we get some cotton balls. It looks like they kind of stretch theirs out a little bit. Oh wow, it just unrolled, that's convenient. I didn't know that cotton balls were rolled up. I thought they were just kind of mushed together. Learn something new every day, don't you? Here we go. And put that on our nose. Yeah, looks pretty good. Not bad. I think I gotta build my nose up a little bit more. Can I just use this? Put it on top of this, like that. Is that a thing? I don't know if I'm doing this right. Probably not. Maybe I just gotta get two smaller cotton balls and put it there maybe? That's way too big for a nose. Oh, it already stuck. Wow, it's time to roll it back up. Boop, boop. Just gonna make our nose nice and... Yeah. Okay, this looks weird. This nose looks so strange. How's it looking? Does it look like a real nose? How did they do this with latex? I don't understand. I'm just doing this by my viewfinder on my camera, and it's probably an awful idea that I'm doing that. I can't see anything. Come on. Oh, this stuff smells so gross, and it hurts my eyes. Ah, oh, what is in this stuff? That's good. There's no ingredients list on the bottle. I don't know why I thought that this one was going to be a lot easier than it is. Does that look like a nose? Oh, man. I think I'm getting it in my eye. Oh, I am. Ah, what do I do? This is awful. Ugh. Not a fan of this stuff. I don't think I'm doing this right at all. This looks disgusting, and I am not a fan, and it is getting in my eye. Yeah, that looks like a perfect upside down nose. Anyway, let's go on to the next step. Okay, apparently now I just need to draw myself on some eyebrows. I'm really good at drawing myself on some eyebrows in the first place. Uh, regular eyebrows, I mean. And that's why I'm gonna be really good at uh, making these fake eyebrows. You ready? Yeah. Just one eyebrow down. Remember, they're sisters, not twins, because these two are definitely Related? Maybe like grandma and granddaughter? <laughs> oh man. Okay, so we got our eyebrows down. Then I have to fill in the rest of my makeup. Uh, here we go. So I'm just gonna... I feel like I should have done this before I did my eyebrows. Good enough. I'm just starting to look like a football player. <laughs> okay, it's good enough. I know I say that about a lot of things, but I'm trying here, okay guys? Okay, then they also use some fake eyelashes. Uh, I've never put these kind of things on before, so this is gonna be a first for me. Oh, they're already sticky. I don't even need eyelash glue. It's perfect. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh, I just dropped my eyelash. Now I just need to... Oh, I can't get it closer to my eyelid because it scares me. How the heck does Tori do this every day? You know what? That's as close as we're getting. Okay, next one. And this one fell off. Yep, that's as good as we're gonna get. Now what do I gotta do? Now I have to make the mouth on my forehead. Is this stuff supposed to burn? This is great. So I just have to make a mouth. Here we go. 
<laughs> Some fuller lips. Yeah! You like outline the lips so you can see them. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, now I need the wig. Um, uh, let's let's do this. Oh, hi, Thomas. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so I just um wait. I think I need to put my hat on like this. And I need to tuck all my hair up into it. Oh man, this looks so weird. And we put our wig on. <laughs> How do I look? I need to figure out how to keep this thing on. Oh, I got makeup in my wig. How am I gonna tie this on? I can use rope. I'm just gonna tie the wig. Is that gonna work? I don't know, maybe. Okay, now I just have to wear this thing like a fake beard. Oh, this smells so weird. Oh, my eyelash fell off. Dang, eyelashes. Okay, it's lost forever, sorry. Okay guys, and uh, we're all done. How do I look? Do I look, did I do it right? <laughs> Hey there. I'm upside down. Okay guys, let's go ahead and show this one to Tori. Oh, Tori Dabransky! Come here, I want to show you something fun. What do you think? Uh, 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 I don't think so. Does it look good? Here, how about lay down somewhere? Why don't you lay upside down? Yeah. Okay, here, fill me upside down. Now for the big reveal. <laughs> How's this look? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, Robbie, that's so scary. Do you like it? No. <laughs> I give it negative five. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. It's so scary. Oh my god. <laughs> Benji, do you like it? Is he like oh. a cat? Okay guys, so here's our plastic wrap, here's our duct tape. Let's go ahead and put this on here. I don't think Johnny will ever suspect this. There we go. Plastic wrap is so hard to use. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, yeah, it looks pretty good. You can't really even see it. So let's go ahead and test this out on Johnny. Oh, Johnny Gerber! Can you come out and play? You've been pranked! Why'd you do this? Because I just love pranking you! You got me. You never saw it coming. I like it. Can you do this to all the doors? <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works! Okay, so I couldn't find any fake snakes at Walmart, so we're just gonna have to use this little fake frog instead. Good enough, I guess, right? And we'll go ahead and use some of this thread for string. Just wrap that around there, cut the extra off. And here's our little clip thing. I couldn't find any clothes hangers, so we're just gonna use this. Kinda tie it around there, and perfect! Okay, let's go test this out on Tori! So Tori's actually been catching on to these pranks pretty fast, so I'm gonna have to be really sneaky with this one. <laughs> Oh, Tori Dabransky! <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, is there any way that you could take the bench out? Sure! Benjamin! Benjamin, what did you find? Why do you have a frog? <laughs> what? what? Oh my god! That frog is attacking you! Benji, get it! Get it, Benji! Benji, get the frog! No, get the frog! Oh my god! Benji, you gotta catch it! It's attacking Tori! Get it, Benji! Oh no! What was that? I got you! You've been pranked! Why, why is it a- Oh my god, you look like you're like suffocating him. <laughs> We did it, Benji. We got her. Oh my god, he's just spinning. What a silly boy. What if Thomas would like it? Here you go. I got you. Got me. Well, guys, I guess we said this would work. So for this one, all we need is a pot, a plant. I'm gonna use uh, these fake flowers because uh, way better than whatever the heck he has, that weird plant thing. And then of course, some candy. So first we're gonna go ahead and put candy inside of here, just like that. Yeah, easy peasy. Put it in a bag because the pot is a little bit uh, dirty on the inside. I tried washing it out as well as I could. Oh no, I got candy in there. Probably not gonna eat those now. That's a little gross. So we're gonna put our candy in there like that. And our flower, just like. I've encountered a problem. So maybe if I just uh, tie this like that. Perfect! Yeah! Now I got myself a nice little hiding spot for my candy. And... <laughs> well guys, I guess we can say this one works! Okay 
Okay, guys, so here's our screen protector. Now all we gotta do is uh, just mess it up real quick. Oh, we're close. Yes, that should do perfectly. Okay, now time to put this bad boy on Chris's phone. Now I have to sneak in really quietly so he doesn't hear me. How you doing, man? Hey, what's up? Uh, what you what you up to? Uh, just playing some Super Smash. What's up? Uh, nothing much. Just smashing your phone, dude. What? Dude, what the heck? Oh my god, dude! Did you I really smash? This is really my phone. This is you really smashed my phone. I smashed the freaking phone. You went too far. You went too far. Is that supposed to really? Really smash the phone? Why? Why would you smash it? Chris, I have something to tell you. What? It's a freaking prank, bro. That's Screen protector! You've been freaking pranked! Oh. Dude, I got you! Oh god, oh no, 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 Okay, so first we're gonna need an apple. Well, it's a good thing that I have this apple tree growing out here. Right underneath it, I have my eggplant. This is where I get my fresh eggs. So let's see, which one do I want? I think I'm gonna pick this one. Well, fresh apple, perfect. Okay, so we got our apple. Now we have to cut it to make it look like french fries. So I know this trick where you just tap fruit with your knife and then it turns into whatever shape you want. So, ready? One, two, and... And it works, see? Let's put these off to the side. There we go. Then we get our yogurt. And apparently, we're just supposed to kind of flop it on there. There we go. Maybe just kind of flatten it a little bit. Yeah, that looks like a perfect egg yolk. Then we have to get our peach. Oh my gosh, that was harder to open than I thought. Get our peach, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in the shape of an egg yolk. There we go. Okay, so now we have our fries and eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and test this out on my buddy Johnny who's staying with me right now. Johnny, Johnny! Johnny, I made you breakfast! I made yeah. you their fries and egg. Do you like fry and egg? What is, ew, why are they, these are apples. These are not fries. No, those are fries. Aren't those such good fries? It's not a good apple, I can tell you that much. This is not a good, what are, that looks disgusting. You're lucky I'm your friend, because this is disgusting. What, that, what is this? That's your breakfast. It's good, it's good. Johnny, why'd you spit it out? I am offended. Wait, what are you, jo, jo, uh. Well, I hope you enjoy your breakfast, I gotta go. This one seems pretty easy, so I just need some jars. Where are my jars at? Oh, here's my jars. Here are my jars. The lift flew up. <laughs> here we go. That looks like a cute little jar right there. Now I have to write something on here that says jar of nothing. Get my little post-it notes. On here we're gonna write jar of nothing. Yeah, that seems legit. Now we're gonna cut it to the correct shape. What a great jar of nothing. Tape it on there to make sure it stays on. Oh, there we go. Then I gotta capture the nothing. Uh, oh, get back here. Get, hey, hey, oh, oh, uh, oh. Okay, I think I got him. Uh, okay, just put the lid on. Oh, ha, we got you, jar of nothing. Okay, stay down, stay down. Okay, stay, stay. Now we gotta wrap it up. Put that in there. Then we gotta get our wrapping paper. There we go. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, up down Santa Claus Lane. My mom's name is Sandy, so every year we would call her Sandy Claus, because we always knew that our mom gave us the presents. <laughs> How silly is that? Cut off some of these edges. And you pretty much always get a perfect wrap. Yeah, there we go. Now time to give this to Tori. Tori Dabransky. Tori Dabransky, I have a present for you. Oh, thank you, one moment. I need you to open this right now. Okay. It's okay. present. 
I think you're really gonna enjoy this present. Amazon package? That's nice. Oh, I just reused the box. Oh, okay. She's using a thumbtack to open it. Mm -hmm. Open it! Whip it up! Burr! Okay. So it's a little snow globe. It says, Jar of Nothing. Oh, thank you, Robbie. I got you a big jar of nothing. It's really nice. Thank you. I'm glad you like your I jar can... of nothing. No, don't open that! Do you know how long that took me to. You're killing him! You're killing the nothing! You're feeding him thumbtacks! No, he's hungry. Nothing's don't eat thumbtacks! Is this good? Now it's a jar of thumbtacks. This is, I mean, this is a do. contradiction. It's a hypocrite. It's not a jar of nothing anymore. Oh, this paper snap. I was like, what? Do you feel tricked? No. I mean, I have I have a place to put my thumbtacks now that's not just a pile on my bed. Guys, I don't think that this one works. There's a coin at the bottom of this bottle. What the? Yeah, look at it. It's right at the bottom. Wow, oh, that's so cool. Look at it. Oh. oh, my eyes. Oh, actually, my eyes. Oh, I'm oh. sorry. Oh, oh. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh my eyes. Oh. oh, that actually hurt so much. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> My nose. Can you get me a towel? Yeah. I can't see. Oh, I got all my eyelids. I can't open my eyes. Oh, that hurts so bad. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this prank works. Oh, that hurts so bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Can't, sorry, I need a towel. I can't find any. There's paper ones in here. Oh, my eyes. There's paper ones right in front of me. Some wax paper. Ooh, yeah. They said to make it melt, but I think I kind of overdid it a little bit. Oh, no, that looks awful. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that looks so runny. Actually, oh, oh, no. Oh, God. Dude, this is perfect. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, now I'm going to throw this in the, fr oh, no. I'm going to throw this in the fridge for a little bit to let it uh, cool down. Then we'll try it out on Chris. Okay, guys, so it never actually, like, solidified. I only had it in there for a couple minutes, but I got impatient. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of, like, let it drip onto the floor. Oh, perfect. Oh, dude, this is great. This is going to be good. <laughs> oh, that looks so gross. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty uh, disgusting. So now we just have to wait for Chris to come in. Oh, hey, Harry Jordan. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, how's it going? Oh, dude, wait, watch your step. Oh, uh, I think, uh... Oh. Yeah, Benji was over earlier, and he kind of, uh... Oh. Yeah, he, he had a little accident. Oh! Here, let me... I'll Don't touch it! Stop! What are you doing? That's gross! No, I'll pick it up. Just, no, stop, it up. stop! I'll pick it up! Stop! Stop! stop. stop. Oh, God! Dude, stop! It's That's not that not, bad! That is not how you clean it up. That is not okay. Dude, it's fine. I just... Stop! Stop! stop. You're grossing out. <laughs> Chris, dude, it's fine. Oh, I pick it up with my. No, Chris, come back. Uh, Here, watch this. Stop. You think that's Leave gross? It wasn't real. That wasn't. That was a dog poop. It was chocolate. chocolate. Yeah, that was I can chocolate. taste it now because you got it in my mouth. What the heck? Ah! Jeez, dude. It's just chocolate, man. What the heck? It's on. 100% chocolate. There's nothing else in there. Dude, don't lie to me about this. Don't lie to me about this. I need to know. It was all chocolate. It was. It was mostly chocolate. Dude, stop. I gotta go. Ah! Come on, man. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Hey, Matt, now. <laughs> So here's our Oreos. Let's do three of them. 
Don't need these anymore. Next, we just gotta take out the filling. Gotta scrape that off. Aha! Yum, yum. Filling's my favorite. Okay, that's one. Here's two. Here's three. That's some good filling. I'm really glad that I went with the double stuff on this one. Okay, now we break out our mayo. Gosh, I hate mayo with a passion. Like, this is so gross. Oh, I'm probably gonna puke doing this. Here we go. Okay, so we just uh, go in and we squeeze a little bit of mayonnaise on each one of these. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, I messed up on this one. Oh, it's so gross. Yeah, I got it on my hand. I can just smell it and it smells. Oh, look at how my big out. This is so gross. Okay, close enough. Gosh, that's so gross. Okay, a little bit better with that one. Man. And there we go. Oh, man, this is like nightmare fuel for me. I hate mayonnaise so much. Like, it is so gross. Well, guys, I guess it's time to see if it works on Tori. Go, Tori Dabransky. I have a really delicious treat for you. Do you want an Oreo? You don't want an Oreo right now? I really Tori, don't. it's so delicious. I want to eat it. Like, I know what this one is, but I don't want it. Um, um, um. <laughs> 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 okay, I pranked myself. I can't even watch her eat it. This is disgusting. How oh, was it? Was it any good? <laughs> this is disgusting. <laughs> I, got, I got you. Did I get you? I mean, I already knew what it was, but it didn't make it any better. Well, guys, I guess we say this one works. You've been so pranked. What's good prank? It's, it's a good? great prank. Woo! We done it! Can you throw these ones away, though? Nope. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. <laughs>Okay guys, so first things first, we're gonna need some pickles. Perfect. Then we're gonna need some chocolate. I don't think we really need all this chocolate, so I'm just gonna go ahead and break it up. And uh, oh, that was easy. We only really need two, I think. That should do. Then we're gonna put this bad boy in the microwave for about a minute. Okay. A minute. Here we go. Okay, chocolate's all done. Now we're just gonna put our chocolate in here. I think it should just melt. Oh, it does, perfect. First we're gonna get a toothpick, we're gonna get our pickles. Oh man, the mixture of chocolate and pickles already smells so bad. Yeah, just kinda dab that all over it. I don't wanna make more than one because I feel like that would just be kinda wasteful. Oh, oh it's not even sticking to the pickle. This is D. Sting. There we go. Yeah, I guess uh, I guess that's kind of good enough. Perfect. Do the same thing with the white chocolate. I really don't want to waste all of it, so I feel like even just one block should be fine. There we go. One minute. Okay, white chocolate's all done, so we just kind of yeah, drizzle it on top. Just like that. Oh boy, this is some good stuff. Oh man, this is so gross. It's going on top of a pickle. A pickle? <laughs> The white chocolate's pretty good though. Man, if I keep doing these videos where I do a bunch of chocolate stuff, I'm gonna get so fat. It's so good. Okay, now it's time to test this bad boy out on Tori. Hey, Tori Dabransky. I am extremely, extremely sorry for all the pranks I've been doing the past couple days. And I just want to give you this uh, chocolate covered marshmallow as a token of me being sorry. You understand? I understand fully, thank you. What's it is chocolate, so we have to keep away from the bed. Is this actually chocolate or is it gonna be mayonnaise? That's real chocolate. Okay, you not That's some good chocolate. What? Oh, that's that's just what is it? it's a green marshmallow. Why did you give me a chocolate covered pickle? That gross. Why? Tor Dabransky, it's a it's a green marshmallow. It's good? I know you love pickles. Pray! That's not a green marshmallow! That's a pickle! What? No way! Oh, it's so gross! Did you like? Was good? No, I don't! Which are you love pickles? Don't ask me the chocolate's more the bad one. I don't know that. Well guys, I guess we can say this one works! You were so pranked, Tori Dabransky! You didn't even see that one coming! I didn't even see it coming. Yeah. Well, Tori Dabransky, I'll see you later! I don't want it. Enjoy okay. your pickle! Oh. Goodbye! It's prank time. Put one on a large skewer like this. Then, dip it into the melted chocolate. That's the stuff. Don't forget some colorful sprinkles. Anyone order some cake pops? Save room for dessert? Are those for me? Is there vanilla inside? Oh. It tastes like garbage with a hint of chocolate. Oh, <laughs> well, you guys, so I actually don't have any Brussels sprouts, but I do have meatballs. Meatballs 
sprouts are way better than Brussels sprouts. Uh, it's only because there's a worldwide shortage of Brussels sprouts. So if you have them, don't waste them. Eat them, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and use this white chocolate because white chocolate's my favorite. Just put a couple of those on a plate. Okay, now let's toss this in the microwave. Okay, it seems to have uh, melted the plate a little bit, but that's fine. Now right, just get our meatballs. Lance this guy. Ugh. Okay, the meatball might be a little hard still. Maybe I shouldn't have done this with a frozen meatball. Good enough. Okay, I'll just cover it in chocolate. Oh, yeah. This looks great. I'm gonna tell Chris they're cake pops. Cake pops. Cover it in sprinkles. Oh, I have to take the thing off. Nice one, Robbie. Now we have a perfectly delicious looking cake pop. Place right there. Okay, we'll just do a couple more so it looks convincing. Yeah, these look pretty freaking legit. Tasty even. I would probably fall for this. But yeah, let's go test this out on Chris. Hey Chris, how you doing my guy? What's up, I'm good. I'm really sorry about the pranks uh, that I, I pulled earlier. Um, Really? It's out of line, and I want to make it up to you. Uh, really? Not like all the other times I tried to make it up to you. Um, this one's for real, okay? So I made I made these cake pops for oh. crap. Yeah, dude, don't they look good? They do look good. Don't they look awesome? Ooh, white chocolate? Yeah, dude. Oh, I man. know that's your favorite, right? Yeah, it is. I Thank you. Oh. No problem. Does it taste weird? Chris, what's wrong? It tastes like meat. You're <laughs> <laughs> the big boy! Did you even cook these, dude? What the heck? A meat cake pop? Yeah! Why would you do that? It's a meatball cake that pop! That does not go good with chocolate. Chris! <laughs> did you cook them? For real, did you cook them first? You don't need to. They're Are fully you sure? Cooked. Are, Are you sure? sure? They're fully cooked! Chris, guess what? <sighs> what? I know it's pretty self-explanatory, but... You've been great! Are you just splashing me with the... <laughs> yeah. Get out, dude. <laughs> nah, not cool. Get out. Just oh! I got you! You got me, you got me, okay? Now stop, stop, stop. I'm, I got work to do. <laughs> well guys, I guess we could say... Hey! Take your cake pops! <gasps> no! My pops! <gasps> my babies! Well guys, I guess we could say that this one works. <laughs> So here's our donuts. Let's just pick one out. I think Tori would like the chocolate one the most. Well, we don't need these anymore. So we just go and hollow it out. Just like that. Easy peasy. Can we get our mayonnaise? Oh, I hate mayonnaise with a passion. If I puke during this, I'm really sorry. Here we go. Uh, okay, it squeezed out the other side, so I'm gonna guess that's filled. Okay. Oh, I got it on my hand. So gross. Oh, I can smell it. This is disgusting. This is so gross. This is so gross. Okay, let's test it out on Tori. Oh, Tori Bransky! I got you a wonderful treat. I got you a donut. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. It looks a little smushy. Oh, sorry, yeah. It got a little messed up in the delivery. It smells awful. <laughs> it's a good donut, Tori. Oh, it's part of a good donut. I, I really don't want to eat this. I don't, I'm not a huge donut person, and I know you've been giving me a lot of food lately, so I know there's something wrong with no, it. No, it's it's perfect. So it just. I, Do you want me to take a bite to prove it? Yes, please. Here we go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, just, just let me let me feed. Oh no, here, let me feed. Okay, okay, okay. I have a confession. What? That donut is filled with mayonnaise. <laughs> I can't do it. Uh, if I do it, I'll puke. No, no, no. Oh my god, you got it everywhere. Oh, oh that's disgusting. I'm gonna puke. Oh, you got it in Benji's toilet can. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna leave you with that. I'll see you later. Oh, disgusting. Goodbye. No, no. Did you put it on my car? Enjoy it. Have fun. Oh, what am I supposed to do with this? I forgot your plate. There you go. Oh man. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one didn't work. Ugh. So gross. I hate mayonnaise with a passion. <laughs> oh 
Okay guys, so here are my pants. These are my favorite pair of pants, so I hope that these turn out perfect. Anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and flip these inside out just like they told us to do in the video. I'm not sure why we have to do it like this, but you know, it is what it is. Just flipping these inside out. And here's our cloth. I think that this one went with it pretty well. Uh, I mean black with this like polka dot, uh, gray polka dot, I don't know. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut it into shape. So, should be able to wrap around it like that. Yeah, there we go. One down. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this as a stencil for my next one. One right here. Okay, yeah, don't need this anymore. Now all we gotta do is sew it in place. I feel like this is gonna be a lot harder than I think it will be, but you know, life is, is meant for learning, you know? I'm sure I'm not sewing this right. Uh, please don't yell at me in the comments, guys. Now let's, uh, let's do this. Ooh, I just broke it! No! Oh man, I was really excited about this little sewing machine too. I just got this. Okay, I really don't want to do this by hand, so... Uh, uh, I think that's what I'm gonna have to do though. Oh! So I actually just found this little guy, and uh, hopefully this one will work. Because I really don't want to do this whole thing by hand. That sounds awful. It's really not as convenient as the other one. You have to do each stitch one by one. Uh, let's hope this works. Oh, it's actually working though, so that's good. Oh, this is gonna be a long process. Here we go. It's looking okay so far. I'm still not really enjoying this though. This is gonna, this is such a long process. Okay, yeah. Still not impressed with this. <laughs> well, I guess we might as well do the other one. We've already dug ourselves this far, haven't we? There we go. Okay, let's try these pants on. This is gonna be my new favorite pair of pants. Just kidding, they already were. So let's hope that it was worth it to modify them like this. You ready, what two? Oh yeah, these feel great. I don't know how I'm feeling about these things though. Oh yeah, so here they are. As you can see, very stylish, very cool. Shows off my socks a little bit. Yeah. Pretty swag if I say so myself. <laughs> Kids, please don't ever use the word swag, unless you're doing it ironically. <laughs> so these turned out pretty good, and I have to say that they look fantastic on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that it works! So here's our notebook. I got a beautiful blue one because I thought it would be uh, perfect for this, but I mean, we're covering most of it, so it doesn't really matter. So I guess the first step to this is making it a round circle. Let's see, how am I gonna do this? Okay, I have the perfect plan. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw this right here. Perfect. And then that looks like it's about the middle. That's about the middle? I don't know where the middle is! Oh no, I just messed all these up. Dang, it was so beautiful before. Anyway, where's my rope? Now I'm gonna go ahead and get some string. Let's see, what color should I use? No. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling this red one. Okay, so we get our red string. Put it like that. And then I need to find where the middle of this is. That way I can make it a perfect circle. So maybe like right here. That's pretty close. Yeah, I think that's it. So right here. Okay. Don't mess up, 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 don't mess up. Here we go. I feel like my pizza's really small. I think it should go out here more, but that wouldn't be right. I'll try it like that maybe. You know what? That'll be the crust. We'll just pretend this is the crust, and then I'll outline how I want to bake my pizza. I gotta take this out. Ugh, don't need that anymore. Yeah, so uh, now I'm gonna... Where did this glitter come from? Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna cut out my little slices. Yeah, so that'll be one pizza slice right there. And then we'll have another pizza slice right here. Yeah. And then another pizza slice right here. Okay. Now let's try and cut this part out. Although, I feel like it would be a more useful notebook if I didn't cut it out. So maybe I won't. I don't think I'm gonna cut it out. I'm gonna leave it just how it is. Because you're perfect just how you are. First, we need to crust. There we go. Cut this in the crust shape. This is a lot harder than it looks. How do I do this without messing up? Ugh. I should have done this on the felt. Yeah, that's close enough. Oh no. No, my pizza's a weird shape. I've created a monster. If I trim some off this side, uh, yeah, I guess uh, that's that's gonna have to be close enough. And then I guess I make the pizza slices like this, and then I'm gonna have to add some felt right here for the crust. Or maybe I'll just leave this as the crust. Okay, what goes next on pizza? Uh, cheese! So we're gonna do the yellow cheese next. The trick here is matching it to this. That's a one. Kinda doing this a little backwards, but that's okay. Okay, let's cut this out. A boop, boop. 
Oh man, my pizza looks kind of derpy. Yeah, okay, that's not, uh, that's not too bad. So we got the crust, the cheese. Now let's put some toppings on this bad boy. Start off with some pepperonis. Cut little uh, circles. Perfect. See that? You see that? That is freaking perfection. Okay, here's the pepperonis. Yeah, pepperonis look pretty good. Let's add some peppers. Or like, what? what's green on a pizza? Yeah, I think peppers are fine. It looks like the way that uh, people usually cut peppers are kind of like these little like sliver things. Almost like uh, that kind of. So just like a little pepper. I mean, that's as close as I'm gonna get to a pepper. I don't really need too many of these. Just a couple per pizza. Oh yeah, these peppers look pretty good. Oh, perfect. Now for some olives. Maybe if I cut it in half like this. Ha ha, perfect little olive. Whoa, yeah, that was like a pretty freaking solid pizza. Oh my gosh. I did not think it would turn out this good. I think I might need one more olive right there, actually. Perfect. This is literally per freaking fiction. Now I just gotta glue everything down. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty freaking good. This is my brand new pizza notebook. Wow. Well, guys, does it still open? <gasps> it does. Well, guys, I'm gonna say it, this one freaking works. I actually really like how it turned out. This is pretty, this is kind of cool, actually. I can put my list of crafts in here. Perfect. Two cups of strong tea. Add soy sauce to one of them and stir. Oops, the tea seems to be not as sweet as she expected. Oh, hey, Chris, how's it going? Good. I was about to make some tea. Would you like some? Yeah, take some tea. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll, be, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so here's our tea kettle. Wait for that to boil. Okay, now we get our tea. Wait, what the? Tea caffeinated? What the heck? Oh. And stay out this time. Okay, let's get our real tea. Get our cups. Go ahead and put the tea bags in there. Why aren't these opening? Why are these tea bags so freaking hard to open? There we go. Perfect. Drop some of the packaging in there. Wrap it around there. Boop. Put our hot water. Now we add our secret ingredient. Perfect, that ought to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and wait for these to cool down and we'll test them out on Chris. Oh, hey Chris, here's your tea. Oh, thanks man. No problem, I hope you like it. Oh, I got it all over my table. Oh, no. I made it specially for you. Okay. I, um, this is my grand grandfather's recipe. <laughs> What the heck, dude? Your grandfather made that? Are no, you kidding me? It's his recipe for tea. Dude, that's disgusting. It tastes like straight up salt water. <laughs> <laughs> you have been What the heck is this? That's tea, but I also put soy sauce in it. I got you! <laughs> That's disgusting. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. <sighs> You've been pranked. Take that. <laughs> okay, Chris, I gotta go. Way. Here's our Sharpie, here's our whiteboard marker. Let's do this. So apparently uh, we just easily just go ahead and pull this out just like this. Oh wow, it does come out. That was easy. And then we go and take the same one out of the permanent Sharpie. Oh wow, that one also came out really easy. I was not expecting that. There we go. Yeah, it looks good. Let's go ahead and test this out on Tori. Let's just go ahead and grab my whiteboard. Tori to brands. I got you yet another gift that you will love. Are you ready for it? I'm ready. You'll never guess what it is. It looks like a whiteboard. It's a whiteboard. Oh my god. I also got you a pen to, to use on it. I want me to write. Uh, I'm gonna draw you? Write whatever you want. I'll draw you. Wow, oh my gosh, you're drawing me. It looks beautiful. I love it. Oh my gosh, you're drawing me so good. Wow, it's me. I look like a Peanuts character. You'll have pants on. I don't know how to draw pants really good. It's okay. Wow, that really does look like me though. It looks pretty good. Wow, this looks really good, Tori Debranski. You did such a good job. Here you go. Now try to erase some of it. Oh, Tori Debranski, you ruined the whiteboard. Now it's stuck like that forever. Is it though? What did you do to it? It's permanent. Sharpie! Why would you do this to your whiteboard? Wow, well, Tori, I can't believe you ruined my whiteboard! Uh, I think you could get it off, though, right? You've been pranked! There must be a hack to get it off! That's a completely different video. If you guys want to see that hack video, uh, you can click right here. Robbie sucks. <laughs> Tori, the brand. Yeah, no, everyone's gonna know you suck, Robbie. Wow. You've been pranked! I got you! I don't know how this is a prank on you, though, because. I know, this is your whiteboard. Oh, oh man. I just. Well, it looks like I gotta get another whiteboard now. There you go. You can frame my artwork. Let's hang that right up. Sounds good. Okay, I'll see you later. No, wait, I don't want all this. Goodbye! Stuff. Goodbye! <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have any ties. I'm just 
just not that fancy of a guy. So I think I'm just gonna have to make one. Oh, here we go. Fabrics and sewing. Uh, uh, no. Ooh, fabrics. Perfect. Unfortunately, I couldn't find what length I'm supposed to cut this to be, but uh, according to Google, it says that it should be no further than the middle of my belt buckle. I don't think that this is long enough. I think it needs to be uh, two strips. So uh, I guess I'll just cut this in half. Or wait, I need to do, I have to make it a tie shape. Here we go, start with the tip. Yeah, just like that. And we're gonna go up. This is perfect for if you wanna make a tie for your dad for Father's Day. I'm sure I'll love this one. Careful, careful. You know what? It's not perfectly straight, but uh, you know, that's fine. Now we go ahead and cut this bad boy. Dang, I could almost just use this strip. But I have to stay true to the craft. Although I feel like I've already kind of gone off the rails a little bit considering that uh, I'm not even using a real tie. Okay, and I think we did it. This is our tie. It's very not straight at all. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna sew this part together. That way uh, I can make it long enough so that I could actually use it as a proper tie. Let's break out our sewing kit. Oh, yes. Let's use some blue thread. Yeah, that's pretty. How you guys liking this guy? Have you guys ever noticed I just call everything a, a guy? Maybe I should start calling things girls. This needle's a little harder to thread than I thought it would be. But I got it. Now we're gonna just uh, go ahead and sew these guys together. It doesn't have to look that great, okay? Now we have ourselves a properly uh, length tie. I mean, I'm probably gonna cut off the extra so that it doesn't... You know, it's not too long after this. But before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and add the pocket. I'm just gonna go ahead and use more of this fabric so it just kind of blends in. It literally blends in so well, I can't even find where the tie went. Just kidding, it's right here. Okay, now put that on the back right there. The only bad thing about using blue thread is they're gonna be able to see uh, this pocket on the other side. Well, time to sew this bad boy on. I don't remember sewing being this difficult. Yeah, honestly, not my best sewing job. I think a five-year-old could probably do better than this. I didn't even do the whole pocket. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that part off. I, I have enough to fit like three Skittles in there. Let's try this puppy on. Okay, so here's our tie. Okay, here we go. I don't really know how to tie a tie, but I'm gonna do my darn best. Yeah, that doesn't look, that doesn't look too bad, right? Is that how you tie a tie? I don't think that's how you tie a tie. It's a little long. It goes a little bit uh, below my belt, which is around recommended height, but it's fine. Let's try and hide some Skittles in this bad boy. Here we go. So we just go and put them in our little pocket. Oh no. I think I made the pocket a little too small, but I can still fit it in there. Yes, it's working. And you guys will never know that I'm hiding candy inside my tie. Well guys, I guess we could say that this one works. <laughs> Yummy. Here's our juice carton. Get our scissors. Whoa, that was close. Just... Yeah, stab it. Wow, this juice carton is kind of hard to cut, actually. I was not expecting that. That is really, oh my gosh. I'm gonna break out my craft knife. Oh. Did I just get really weak all of a sudden? How the heck? Dude, the bottom of a juice cart? These things are freaking tough. Wow, I'm impressed. Okay, yeah, that should do. We go ahead and get our balloon. Go ahead and shove that in there. Cool. Now let's try and fill this up with water. Okay, I think this is gonna be a little harder than uh, it says that it's gonna be, so here we go. Oh God! Off to a good start. Oh, it's filling. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, so far so good. Uh, I'm not sure how the heck I'm gonna close this without it getting everywhere. Um, maybe if I just close it like that. Dude, okay. How the heck am I gonna do this? Maybe if I twist it like this and then put it over like that. Yes! Okay, that might've worked a little too well. I'll just put it down here so he doesn't see it. Oh God. Yeah, that definitely doesn't look like a prank at all. Now let's try this one out on Chris. Oh, hey Chris, how's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. What's up, man? Uh, so I know that you love yourself some good juice. Uh -huh. So um, I'm really sorry for the last time I pranked you with juice. I would never do that again. Uh, here is your favorite juice. Wow, thank you. Yeah, no just, problem. I just. Really... I... You did it again. I brought you. You know what? I don't even. I don't even have to say anything. I have nothing to say. Done. Nothing to say about. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say if this one freaking works. <laughs> So here's our 
here's our balloon. All I gotta do is blow it up. Oh, oh wow, it's in the shape of a heart. Or a butt, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> now we just tie it. Put it in our shirt. Oh my god, I'm so pregnant. But I'm also a man. Let's go test this one out on Chris. Oh, hair Jordan. <laughs> How's it going, my guy? Oh, hey, what's up, man? So you just moved to the office. Uh, how, how you liking it? Is it good? Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, yeah. So a few things have changed in the last couple days. For one, I'm pregnant! Feel his heartbeat? I think you might need to get that looked at. <laughs> Crap, what the heck? I have a confession. What's your confession? I'm not pregnant! Whoa, really? <laughs> I got you. I don't even know. You've been pranked! What? I'll see you later. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. <laughs> I don't think that Chris ever saw it coming. So here's our Skittles. Get those out of here. Now we're gonna go ahead and make our own. Here's some clay. All I have is red clay, so I guess this is gonna have to do. So I guess kind of make it into a circle. Aha, one skittle down. Two. Yeah, that should be enough. Here's our white paint pen. These things are a little tricky, so uh, just bear with me, guys. Gotta shake it up, apparently. Oh, there we go. These are very sensitive, so just gotta write that S. Oh man, this is so liquidy. S. There we go. Looks like we're all good. I'll just let them dry for a second, and then we'll put them in our box. These look good. Let's put them in here. Awesome. Let's try these out on Tori. Tori Dabransky. Would you like to try some Skittles? Why are they open? I was eating them, and they're just so delicious. <laughs> so they changed the recipe. They taste so much better. Why you got them all over you. <laughs> Why are they all red? I, I Do you not like the red ones? The, I don't like the red. Are you going to eat it? Why are you squishing it, Tori Dabransky? I don't think these are good, Robbie. Tori, no, they're good. I just bought them. <laughs> look at them. <laughs> I know they look so delicious. I don't really know if I want to eat these. I'm going to Here, I'll eat one right in front of you. Ready? Okay. Mmm, so good. So good. Dropped it on the floor. Oh, so <laughs> I must have missed my mouth. Okay, your turn. I hate it when that happens. Your turn. I really don't want to eat this because I I'm just gonna take a guess here and say that these aren't Skittles. They are. Then why do they squish like this? They're a new recipe. Do these even seem to eat? I have no idea. Yeah, yeah you probably shouldn't yeah. eat these. Okay. Don't Tori these. But why, Robbie? These are trash. Why, why can't I eat these? You don't want these. Oh, I don't want them. They're clay. Oh, that They're, makes sense. <laughs> well, I guess. Okay. You got me! Wait, no, you you got me. <laughs> right? I don't know. Get me at Benjamin. Get it. Here you go. I, I make gifts. Oh my god. You ruined my Skittles! This would have been so gross what if are I you, actually ate that. What are you doing? You ruined my Skittles! Wow, Tori to Bradski. Here's the box. Oh, gross. Where did the actual Skittles go, though? Well, I'll see you later. Oh, my actual Skittles. Okay guys, so out! Here's our ruler. It's a metal one and it already has a hole, so I don't need to make a hole in it. So that's good. Here's our string. Let's take some of that out. Tie that on. Oh, boop -a boop Now we have to make the fan part. So it looks like they just used regular construction paper. So I think that's uh, that's what I'm gonna do. But I think I'm gonna actually just fold it like this. That way it's nice and strong. How big should we make it like this? Uh, I'll cut it out in a fan shape. Yeah, that ought to do it. Then we get our glue stick. Just kind of, you know, glue this up. Ah, okay. Now we're just going to go ahead and uh, stick this in here. Just like that. Oh, no. I forgot to take off the label. Oops. Get off there. Ugh. I mean, it still works. Or it, it should still work. I'm just going to go ahead and let this guy dry for a little bit. Oh, yeah, it looks like we're all good to go. Now we break out our tape. Boop it a boop. Ha! And they put it one right here. And they put another one right here. 
Is that gonna lift up? Oh no! I think I might need to give it a little bit more travel. Maybe more like this. More tape. That'll fix it. How do you feel about this one? Yeah? Okay. Now let's try this puppy out. So make a little loop-de-loop -loop and tie it around my foot. Oh yeah. That made it way too freaking long. So like, more like this. Let's wrap it around my foot. Perfect! Oh yeah, here we go. You ready? Oh yeah, this is great. I'm definitely not getting hot and moving my leg like this. And I feel so much cooler because this fan is working so good. Oh yeah, this is the life. Am I right, guys? I am the AC. Well, guys, I guess if you don't mind working for your own AC, I'm gonna have to say this one freaking works. Oh, my legs getting really tired. So here's our cereal. All you gotta do is cut out the bottom. I'm gonna take these out first. There we go, don't need these anymore. Then we get our piece of paper and just kinda hold it like that. And we pour all the cereal back into the box. There we go. Okay, now it's time to carefully transfer this downstairs in the kitchen. And then we'll try it out on Chris. Oh gosh, this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. Just, uh, there we go. Okay. Okay, now it's time to test this out on Chris. Oh, hair Jordan! Hey, what's up, dude? How's it going? Good, man. Hey, Good. I'm really sorry for the previous pranks that I pulled on you. They were mean, they were harsh, and I just want to make it up. So, I got you your favorite cereal. It's right over there if you want to have some. Oh, Let's did you it. actually? You yeah. actually got the right? Whoa! Yeah, dude, we got the, we got the milk! Or monster, if that's what you want. Uh, you know, got your bowl. Thank you. Oh! oh thank you. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! What? What the heck? Chris, you, you get my favorite thing just to ruin it? Why would you do that? Why, did you Why do would it? you do Why that? Why would you do this? You made a mess, Chris! You guys are kidding me? Chris, what? I leave you alone for two seconds. I knew, I knew, I, I, knew I shouldn't have believed, believed it. I, I don't even care. I don't even care. It's a prank's on you. I don't care. Chris, the I prank's on me because you been pranked! At least I'll get one bowl out of it. Oh, this milk is bad. <laughs> Why is there chunks in the milk? Is that part of the prank? Yeah, you been pranked! I don't, this milk is fucking the Three months expired! <laughs> this is expired, dude. Smell that. Look, that expired like a week and a half ago. Okay, chunky milk. Look at these chunks, dude. <laughs> what the heck? You the. All right, you ruined the whole thing. Okay, good prank. Good job. Good prank. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one freaking works. <laughs> Let's go pull another prank on Chris. I'll see you later, dude. I'm definitely not going to pull another prank on you today. Okay, so here's our pen, here are our water balloons. We realistically only need one, so there we go. Then I need to take this bad boy apart somehow. Maybe if I grab some pliers, will that do it? Ugh, there we go. This is a lot harder to get out than I thought. Oh man, there we go. Okay, now I just need to slip this in here without getting it all over my hands. There we go. Now apparently I just have to squeeze all of the dye into there. Is it working? It doesn't really feel like much really happened. Maybe try it again. This time with the pliers. Ah, it got on my hands. Yeah, perfect. Now it's all over my hands. Tie it off. Boom. Seamless, easy peasy. Then we get our stapler. Gotta place it in there. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. That's how I test this bad boy out. Johnny, I need your help. Okay. I have these important documents I need to staple together, but I can't do it myself. Can you help me? Um, yes. This looks totally normal. Yes, of course. It's not working. You've been pranked! Johnny, I tricked you! Oh, jeez. You have been completely a prank! How's it feel? Doesn't feel good. I don't you've, know been, what to say. you've been pranked. What am I supposed to say about this? <laughs> well, I'll see you later. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay guys, so for this I'm actually gonna use a shirt instead of pants because I'm running out of paint. I actually put some cardboard in it so that it wouldn't seep over to the other side because I've done this a couple times and it always seeps over and it looks really dumb. So here's our goily. This was actually kind of hard to find. Aha! Yeah, there we go. I kind of want to make like a design with this. I don't know. Let's see, what can I make? Maybe that was a dumb idea. Or maybe it wasn't. I don't know. But you won't know unless you try. That's what I say. Maybe I could make like a heart shape with this. I think that'd be fun. So I'm gonna do my best to kind of like make a heart out of these cloths. It's more of a teardrop right now. I gotta add the top part of the heart. There we go. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Maybe if I shorten it up a little bit, I feel like it's a little long. See if I can do it. Uh, maybe like that. Yeah, I don't know. I think that looks a little bit better. So as an extra thing, I think I kind of want to tape out the outline so that I don't get it all over the rest of the shirt. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, that ought to do it. Now it's time to spray paint this bad boy. Always wear protection, kids. I'm also gonna turn on a fan, so it's gonna be really loud here for a second. There we go. Well, I'm already start painting. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Now I'm just gonna touch it up again, go over it one more time. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry, and then I'll wash it, and we'll see how it turned out. Yeah, I think this turned out uh, pretty good. I mean, minus uh, the parts where like the paint seeped through the duct tape, and also, um, you know, I had the fan on, so it actually blew spray paint a little farther than I wanted. But, I mean, overall, the design turned out pretty cool. So guys, I guess we're gonna have to say this one works! Get Nutella in a microwave. Cut off the top of an empty toothpaste tube. Clean it inside and fill it with Nutella. Cover the cut with parchment paper and iron it. It is way tastier, and it will definitely cause a prank in response. Okay guys, so here's our toothpaste. Now I just gotta get all the toothpaste out of it. Let's go ahead and cut off the end. And then we have to squeeze it out. Yeah! I wonder if I can just blow on this end and then all of it will come out. Let's try. It's kind of working! Come on, toothpaste! Yes! Now let's go ahead and get it all out of this side. Every single drop. Whenever I have toothpaste, I usually wait until the very last drop to get more. It's probably a bad idea because, you know, you might run out sooner, but it's fine. Oh, I got it all over me. How are we doing? Yeah, it's just about empty. Here's our Nutella. Let's go ahead and microwave this for a sec. Oh, man. I have to go all the way to the microwave. Well, uh, let's do this. Here we go. One minute should be good. Oh, okay, yeah, Um. so it turns out that there's some foil on Nutella, so be careful and make sure to take all that off if you're gonna do this. It definitely got burned a little bit. So let's get our spoon, mix that up. Oh, that is so liquid. That is perfection. Yes, yes! Put our cap on. Now let's start putting some Nutella in here. We've got this. Maybe I should use a syringe. Yeah, just plop that in there. And then, here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, that was way harder than I thought. Keep going, come on. Okay, now I'm gonna put the tip on. Whoop. Now let's try. Let's stick this in here. Oh, there's a there's a guy here. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's working. Yes. This is so hard to squeeze. Oh. I'm so glad that this is actually working though. Yeah. That's looking pretty good. Okay, let's just uh, wipe this off a little bit. Get out of here. Yeah, not bad. Then we get our parchment paper. Slap that on there. And we just uh, you know do this. Then we grab our flat iron. And then apparently this should just uh, melt together and make a perfect seal. I hope this actually works. Oh, I got Nutella on my iron. Wow. Yeah, that looks like it's uh, working pretty good. Gonna go ahead and let this cool down, maybe rinse it off a little bit, and then we'll try it out on Chris. Oh, hair Jordan! Yeah. Hey, where are you? I'm in the kitchen. Get some breakfast. Oh, no, you should uh, you should try my new toothpaste. Just like try it? Yeah, do, uh, go, br br go brush your teeth with it. It's great. It's really it's really good. It'll make your, your teeth really white. I don't remember if this one's mine or not. Wait, who else is, who's tooth, wait. What? <laughs> yeah, it has that brown, it's like that, it's like that charcoal toothpaste. Really? Oh, okay, well, I've done charcoal before. It's like really good for you. Yeah. You've been praying! What? Stop you telling What have you been, you've been praying! It tastes like chocolate. Take that! I was expecting mint. Why would you put chocolate? Now my whole toothbrush is ruined. I have to get a new one. Ah! Why are you? Just do tell man. Calm down. Oh. Yeah, you're right. It's actually not that bad. I might. I might just. You've been pranked. Thanks. I gotta go. See ya.
Okay, guys, so I managed to get Chris's favorite juice. Minute Maid Berry Punch. Not sponsored, by the way. This is just his favorite. So we're just gonna go ahead and take that cap off. Then we get our hot sauce. And then we just, uh, you know, put it on that, uh, on the rim of it. Yes. He will never suspect it. Perfect. Now let's try this out. Oh, Air Jordan! Hey, how you doing, man? I'm good, dude. What's up? Uh, so, I actually, I got you your favorite juice uh, to make up for all these mean pranks I've been doing. Oh, this is my favorite juice. Yeah, I, I know. Like, I, I just thought, you know. Thank you. No problem, dude. That's all yours. You can drink the straight out thing? of the tap. Yeah, go for it. It's open already. Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. I, I, I had a little bit. Uh, <laughs> how can you blame me? It's really good juice. Yeah, I am thirsty, so. <laughs> I mean, I just, I just put it on the, I just put it on the rim. Like it was just a rim, dude. It wasn't even that much hot sauce. You really over exaggerated here. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one freaking works. Thank God it's only Friday night. Okay, guys. So the first thing we gotta do is look for a good picture of a policeman. There's just so many options to choose from. Oh my gosh. I think I found the perfect one. And print. Oh my gosh. It wants to print the whole page. This is such a pain. Perfect. Now I gotta cut this bad boy out. I'm gonna take my exacto knife. Cut this guy out. Boom. Okay. Now time to tape this bad boy to the peephole. Okay. Now we just put this on here. Just like that. Maybe, maybe that'll work. Let's see how it looks. Oh man, you can't even see it. I wonder what's up with that. Maybe, uh... I wonder why this isn't working. That's so weird. I guess I have a peephole that doesn't work right. This is so hard to do. Maybe if I get my selfie camera and then I just kind of... Okay, so after further examination, I think uh, that this one is not gonna work because I just don't have the right kind of peephole. If I had a traditional one, I, I think it might have worked, but I guess we're gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Dang, that kind of sucks because I was excited for this one too. Ugh. Unwrap a lollipop and keep the wrapper. Eat the candy as you'll need the stick. Add food coloring to water. Pour the colored water into a small balloon. Put in the lollipop stick. Put it into a freezer. Remove the balloon from the frozen water and wrap the fake lollipop into the wrapper. Okay guys, so here are our lollipop. All we gotta do is uh, take these bad boys out. Mm, looks pretty good. Now I gotta take the sticks off. Uh, maybe I'll just eat them. This is gonna take longer than I thought. I don't wanna just bite down on them because I feel like I'm gonna chip a tooth. Well, I guess I gotta do the only reasonable answer. Yeah, that did it. That was way too efficient. We put these off to the side. Here's our bowl. Add some water. There we go. Then we add our food coloring. Sorry, the bowl is black, so you can't really see it, but it's pretty blue. Mix it up. I can't find a funnel, but I do have a syringe, so I guess that's gonna have to do. Here are our balloons. Now we're just gonna go ahead. Oh, I'm getting this everywhere. Ah, it's on my hands. Just gonna suck some of this stuff up. Yeah, that ought to be enough. Oh, that is so blue. Put that in there. I think that the balloon that I got might be a little big, but I'm sure it's fine. He's just gonna get a really big lollipop, I guess. And yeah, that ought to, that ought to do it. Tape this bad boy up. Oh no. I don't know how well this is actually gonna work, but um, one down. Second stick. Boop, boop. Twist that up. Tape it down. Yes. Okay, looks good. Let's throw these in the freezer and uh, wait a few hours. Okay, so here they are. Now let's unwrap them and see how they turned out. There we go. Uh, Oh boy, these are gonna be some good lollipops. I can already tell. Be real careful. Oh. Oh, it didn't freeze all the way. What is wrong with this lollipop? Okay, maybe the other one turned out a little better. Come on. Oh. Okay, come on. I'll go ahead and cut this bad boy open. Here we go. Yes. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh boy. It's like a little bowl. Why did it freeze like that? I could probably fit a perfect lollipop inside that. Dude. Wow. Okay. Uh, now all we gotta do is wrap them up. I don't know if these wrappers will fit on top of them. Oh no. I Created a monster. Okay, maybe I can just combine the wrappers to make it into a giant dum dum. Maybe some tape will help. Okay. Yes. I think we're onto something. Oh. It doesn't stick to it because it's parchment paper. Okay, I just gotta put the tape all the way around. Maybe that's a solution. Just 
Yes! I feel it in my bones. This is definitely going to work. Okay, let's go test this bad boy out on Chris. Hey, Hair Jordan. Hey, how's it going? I got you this lollipop. Really? Yeah, it's a ultra dum dum. It's oh. the biggest dum dum in the world. Real? Oh. Oh, okay. Right next to me. That explains the weird <laughs> rapper, huh? Thought it looked strange, but I guess if it's the biggest in yeah, the world. Look how big that thing is. Okay. I just like. What do you think? Is it good? Dude, this tastes like water. You've been what the heck? That's not a dog dumb at all. It's just it's just this food color. Oh, come on, there's no flavor. No. Why didn't you? <sighs> You've been brave. I don't want this. Here. Do you want some real dum dums? Yes. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye. Enjoy your candy. <laughs> So here are our white pants. Then we just go ahead and um, yeah, so we flatten them out. Then we're just supposed to kind of like do zigzaggy things like this. I feel like the smaller the zigzags, the better it's gonna look personally, um, but I don't really know. Just for simplicity sake, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and start zip tying this leg. Okay, and then we go on this leg, maybe grab it like that. I really hope my pants turn out okay. This is gonna be my everyday pants. I'm gonna wear them every day for the rest of my life. Dude, folding pants is so much harder than I thought it would be. Like, why is this so difficult? They don't even want to stay folded, Captain. Ah, these zip ties don't want to stay zipped either. So now I'm gonna go ahead and bring them outside and start spray painting them. Oh, whew, here we are. So we got our pants. Oh man, I forgot my spray paint. Oh, oh, that was easy. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. That's the color of the rainbow. I think that this is gonna be a lot of fun. Oh, here we go. So we'll start off with red. Oh, I forgot my mask. Whoa, that's better. Okay, well, it looks like it looks like uh, it's all spray painted. Now we're just gonna go ahead and wait for it to dry, and I'll show you how it turned out. Woo! Yeah, this is such a weird angle of me, isn't it? <laughs> okay, they're nice and dry. Let's go ahead and free them. Here we go. Okay, not looking bad so far. Oh my goodness, <laughs> this looks so ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Oh, here we go. Let's try these bad boys on. Yeah, they're looking pretty good. Oh yeah, these look uh, these look great on me. I really don't know how I feel about these guys. On a scale of one to ten, what would you guys rate these? I I'd say that they're a solid uh, four out of ten. I don't know. I might wear these out in public. I'm not really sure. I guess we can say that this one worked. So here's our pen, here's our glue, and here's our glitter. Now uh, the first thing you gotta do is pop this guy off. I don't know how to get it off. Uh, let's see. Break out my trusty pliers. Maybe this will work. Come on. Oh, I broke it. No. I could have probably just gotten away with doing it like this. Oh. Maybe, well it's still, oh no. Okay, I guess that's good enough. So now I'm just gonna uh, <laughs> fill this with glue, right? Do I have to completely fill it with glue? Yeah, I do. I have to completely fill it. How will any of the glitter fit in there? Okay, filling it with glue. I feel like this isn't right, but... <laughs> Jeez, dude. How the heck am I supposed to fit the glitter in there now? Okay, I have to blow it out. <gasps> okay, maybe that'll do it. I have to try and get this freaking glitter inside of there. Guys, I'm not feeling too good about this. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe if I use this end to help put it in. Yes! It's slowly working! I definitely think I put too much glue. But this is, like, they put a lot in theirs. Am I not supposed to put a lot of glue? I don't understand. Get in there. And uh, there we go. Yeah, I mean, this is probably as good as we're probably gonna get it. Put that top back on. Put this guy back in. Oh no. Okay, yeah. This, this tip, never gonna come off again. Especially when it's dry. Never gonna come off ever again. Put our cap back on. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty pretty good. <laughs> well guys, can you put glitter inside of a pen? 
Yeah? Does it work? I mean, technically. Is it a great gift? Oh, let's find out. A Darda Bransky! Yes? Hey, I got you this gift! Oh, thank you. What is it? It's a glitter pen! Can I actually use it? Or Yeah, you can write with it. It doesn't write in glitter, though. The, 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 the case is just glitter. What am I like? It's not working. Oh, uh. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, oh my gosh. Was... Well, I'm sorry. I hope you like your gift. No, I'll see you later. You gave Happy you birthday. And you Happy anniversary. I love you. Goodbye. So this one is gonna be really easy. Here's our double-sided tape. I got a variety of candy here just to see uh, which ones stick the best. Here we go, guys. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the Snickers. This is the one. This is literally the candy that they use. So I'm expecting this to work. I can't get the tape off. Take that tape off. And now. Boom! Oh, oh, oh! It actually sticks! Okay, we're gonna try the next one. Skittles! Right here. Oh! The sticker's fell off. Maybe if I put it on a flatter. Oh my god! I'm losing all my candy. Maybe I'll put it on the back of my belt. Yeah. Nope. The side of my belt. It's kind of sticking. And it fell off. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Take out wax from a tea light candle. Take out the wick. Put it back into a metallic base and fill it with hot glue. It is a prank candle and it doesn't doesn't work. Okay, so here's our little tea light. I guess we just gotta take this out. Then we take the wick out. Just go, oh, oh, the wick didn't come out. Maybe if I grab some pliers and just, uh, here we go. Just like my nose hairs. Ready? One, two, and dang it, didn't come out. Yep, just like my nose hairs. Sometimes it takes a few tries, okay? Come on. Did I get it? There's the wick. I feel like this wick is way too short, but it's, it's what I have, so here we go. Okay, good enough. Put that there. Then we grab our hot glue gun, and we just fill it up. You've got this hot glue gun. There. There we go. Ah! I dropped the wick. Don't touch the hot glue. Don't touch the hot glue. Don't touch the ah! Even the little container's hot. Ah! I need another wick. Here we go. I just got another wick out of another candle. Plop that in there. No! It's sticking to my pliers. I can do this. Oh, come on. Why isn't it coming off? Okay, I'll just put it in there when it's like dry. Fill that up. And I just gotta be really careful to not burn myself. And come on. There we go. We did it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool for a little bit and then we'll try it out on Chris. Okay guys, so I'm in my garage right now and I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the power to the room that Chris is in. It's all the way over there, so it's gonna be a little bit of a little bit of a journey to get there. Oh my gosh. Oh my wood. This is where I keep all the spare wood for my project. Okay, oh, just random table saw. Oh, okay. Hot checked balloon. I don't even know what that, what does that mean? Okay, uh, laundry, family plug-in, washer, dryer, bedroom. Which one's the main room? Uh, okay, 18. 18 and 16. Okay, so eight, where did 18 go? Oh, 18 and 16. Okay, let's go prank Chris. Hey, Chris. Dude, I think your power's out. Wait, what? What? What do you mean? There's no power. It's, it's dark in here. There's no lights. No anything. Oh, uh, uh, here's a here's a tea light. Go ahead and light that. Okay. That's the only source of light I have. Right. Uh. Dude, you've been pranked. You please give me a normal candle. That is what is the problem here? And that's hot glue. You that smells like ooh, that does not smell good. You just lit glue on fire and there's no TV. Well guys, I guess we can say that this one works. Nothing works here. <laughs> gummy bears but I have some gummy worms and I'm pretty sure those are close enough. I also don't have a heat gun uh, but I have a blowtorch. Um, <laughs> we're making all sorts of compromises today I know. I also don't have a bowl so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, cut this can. So we're just gonna go ahead and put some of our gummy worms in there. Now we're gonna try and melt these puppies down. I gotta do it without burning them. I think my camera's gonna catch on fire. Oh my god, it's smoking. Ah! Why did I touch that? That was so hot. Okay, I have to move my camera a little farther away. Oh, okay, that's better. Let's try this again. Just kind of mix them up a little bit. This is hard to do without like completely melting them. 
They keep lighting on fire and I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm using a freaking flame to do this. They don't want to melt down for whatever reason. I have the blowtorch literally so far away, but they're still catching on fire. Oh, now they're smoking! Oh god, oh god. Okay, so obviously, uh, so obviously this didn't work very well. Can I like just mix them up maybe? Are they melted enough? They, they smell like marshmallows. I'm gonna go ahead and break out some gloves before I touch these bad boys. It's, it's actually kind of funny because these legit like smell like burnt marshmallows. I guess it's all just sugar, right? Whoa. I'd like to think that uh, when you watch these videos, you're learning the uh, incorrect way to do things. If you're looking for a channel where you're looking for the right way to do things, you're probably in the wrong place. Let's be honest here. But this is pretty legit. It all kind of became like one giant, you know, mass. This is kind of cool. Is it hot? Oh, it's not that hot. It's a little hot. I should probably wait for it to cool down a little bit more, but you know. Dang, that's kind of cool. It does make a little bit of a gel, and I bet it would work a lot better if I had a heat gun, actually. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Oh, God, it's so hot. Ah! Ah! Dude, I can't get it off of me. But how does this taste? Let's try it. It tastes like melted gummy worms. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm bringing a new segment to the show called Bonus Crap! This is just a random thing on the internet that I found. In this case, it's on TikTok. But I, I found this, and I thought it was really cool, and I just really wanted to try it. Okay, so this is a Pepsi can. That's all I got there. Okay, three, two, one. All I have to do is pop the top like that. You don't actually need a bottle opener for this one. You have to pull up really fucking hard. There you go. I actually really wanted to try this one last night, but Tori told me that I had to wear gloves, and I only have gloves in my office. So what he did was, I guess he put it down like that. So I guess he did this, and then he stuck his finger in there, and then he just pulled up. Oh! <sighs> Come on, it's not working. I feel like he's trolling. I don't think that this is a real craft. I feel it in my freaking soul. But luckily, I have a bunch of different cans I can use. So here's like a small monster can. I'm gonna watch it one more time to make sure I'm not doing this wrong. Okay, so you just pop it, okay? And then you just pull it like that. One, two, and... No! I'm gonna try it with some pliers. I can't even manage to... Oh, there we go. It did eventually rip. Maybe I'm just doing this wrong. I'm gonna try it from like right here with the pliers. You ready? Okay, one, two, and... Nope, just with the tab. You ready? One, two, and... Nope, tab broke right off. It doesn't work! I'm gonna keep trying with all my cans. I'm just gonna keep trying this. Ah, oh, no, I got green juice everywhere. Okay, do this and then pull straight up. <laughs> Didn't work. Cause his like just ripped right there. And mine's not ripping there. Ah! 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 <laughs> my whole mouth fell. My goodness. Is my camera okay? We are good. Well guys, gloves are coming off. I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. I tried all these cans. And I couldn't do it with any of them. I tried the glove, I tried pliers, nothing freaking works. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need is some strong card paper. Then we get our knife, outline it really quick. There we go. Perfect. Well, we don't need this anymore. Go ahead and cut our knife out. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Then it said to spray it with some metallic finish. I'm gonna go ahead and do this outside, actually. Here we go. Now we flip it over. Oh man, this looks like it's one expensive knife. Okay, our metallic paint is now dry. Then we get our foam for the handle and cut out our little handle pieces. Ah, oh, yes. Not bad. That should do for half of it. And the other side. Yeah, these look pretty good. Put these to the handle, just like that. Yes. Cut these down. Oh, yes. Perfect. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab my white paint pen. And do the three white dots. Flip it over. One, two, three. Yes. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now to glue it to our knife. Oh, yes. This looks super legit. I don't 
don't think that Chris will ever know. Okay, now it's time to cut this bad boy in half. Oh, my beautiful creation, no! This is one of those cases where you must destroy in order to create. Put down some parchment paper, and now we're just going to hot glue all around it, just like this. And boobity boop. Looks good, now I just have to hold it like this forever. <laughs> I like, there's no good way to do this. Maybe like that, good enough. So that's like that, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the blade part. Just go ahead and stick that right in, just like that. Oh no. Okay, now I just have to wait for these puppies to cool down. Okay, so these should be, oh no. Oh, oh no. I mean, it came off pretty clean. That's not, that's not too bad, but this is gonna be wobbling a lot. Oh no. So now I guess I just have to glue it to my hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it first with some eyelash glue. This has worked for me before, but it's not the best. If this doesn't work, I'll use nail glue, which doesn't come off. So that's kind of a last resort. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do this one to the bottom. That way it's hanging instead. Just kind of glob that on there. Yeah. Just like that. And now, I guess I just stick it on. Boom! Oh boy. Oh, that's already kind of sticking. Oh, not bad! Just gotta keep my hand straight and do the other one. Yes! And stick that one to the top. Just like that. Oh, no! I don't think that it's even. Oh, no. <gasps> <laughs> it's so crooked. I didn't think of this. Actually, that's not too bad. Okay, that's almost, I wouldn't say believable. You know what, yeah. This is plenty believable. I, t I totally believe this. Now I just have to wait for this to dry. This might take a second. Oh man. Okay, so it's about dry and it's uh, actually sticking on my hand pretty decently. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our fake blood. This is actually just uh, fabric paint, so. Yes! Spread that on there. Oh yeah. This definitely looks real. This is the most real blood I've ever seen. I definitely think Chris is gonna fall for this one. This looks pretty good. Now let's try it out on Chris. Okay guys, let's do this. Ah! Oh my god! Ah! Eventually. Oh! oh my god, Chris, Dude, I, I stabbed my hand! I stabbed my hand! Oh, oh my god, Chris! It's sick, dude. I'm gonna be sick. There's a total accident. Can you take, help me take it out? It's crooked. You've been freaking pranked! I almost threw up over this. This was, it was fake, see? It's a fake knife! I almost threw up over this. You've been pranked! Why did you gotta use the blood? Oh, oh it's so wet. I got you! Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one freaking works! <laughs> So here's our pants. So apparently we're just supposed to go to the knee like right here I hope that I'm cutting in the right place. I really do. So apparently these are supposed to touch the top of this Looks good. This should be pretty easy. Then we get our scissors. Now we just start cutting these bad boys up This is pretty easy craft I gotta say. Okay one down do the other leg now Oh, all done. And I am definitely getting uh, like 2007 scene culture vibes here. Well, let's go ahead and try these on. Oh, okay, and uh, here they are. What do you guys think? I definitely think that, uh, you know, they show off my hairy legs uh, nicely. Not too much hairy leg, but just enough. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say this looks pretty. Oh, well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one worked. What are you looking at, Benji? Oh my god, you're Ben, you're Ben. Ah! Okay, so here are our donuts. Haha! -ha. So first I'm supposed to make a little hole in this. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my popsicle stick. Just put that in there. Just kinda do that. Aha! Yeah, that should work. And I actually hate the smell of mayonnaise, so I'm gonna go ahead and use whipped cream instead. So I'm just gonna put that in. Whoa! Some came out of it. Ooh, that's some good whipped cream. Mm. Some came out of the middle hole, so I just gotta get that out of there. Get out of there. Okay, let's go ahead and test this out on Tori. Oh, Tori Dabranski! I got you a donut because I love you. Oh, thank you. There's nothing in it, trust me. What's There's that? nothing bad. It's just frosting. Don't worry about it. I really don't like Still donuts, though. It's it's okay. It's more glazed. Take a big old bite, Tori. I really don't want to take a big old bite. Take a big old bite, Tori. What is it? It's definitely not mayonnaise. Mayonnaise because though. I hate mayonnaise. I was supposed to use mayonnaise, but I used whipped cream instead. Oh, that's a lot nicer. Okay. 
Oh no, you got you got whipped cream in your mouth. You've been pranked. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, it got all inside the hole again. That's not bad. Well, I guess we can say this one works. I'm good, you can have it. I'll see you later. Oh. Oh, goodbye, I love you. Well, this looks like it could be fun. Let's go pick ourselves out a brick. Okay, so I'm actually gonna try and recreate this. So I'm at Home Depot right now, and I'm looking for the perfect brick. No, no, no. Ooh, this looks nice. It's a little big, though. These are fun. Ooh, yeah, I think that'll do. Perfect. Next, we have to spray paint this bad boy. Now while we wait for this to dry for a little bit, uh, let's go ahead and make our stencil. Okay, so now we have to cut out our outline. Here we go. And boop, there we go. Now let's fill in our brick. Yeah, that looks pretty dry. Let's go ahead and tape this on here. Boop. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, that's better. It's right way up this time. Uh, you guys get the point, okay? Now we gotta fill it in. Yeah, and we're all good. Now we just let this dry. And we're gonna do the little outline -y thing. There it is. Now we just gotta take off the tape. Well, it looks like I kind of messed up on a few parts. I was supposed to cover it with uh, some more tape, but it's okay. That's fine. We're gonna smash this anyway. So it really doesn't matter. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put an outline around this uh, just so you kind of see it a little better. Oh, there we go. Well, I guess there's nothing really to do now besides, uh, you know, smash this hard work that we just did. Oh, okay, guys, now it's time to smash that like button. Just like I want you guys to do for me. I want you guys to smash my like button. Can you do that for me? Can we get this video to 100,000 likes? I don't know if we can do it. Let's see if we can. Anyway, let's do this. Okay, guys, here we go. One, a two. Smashing stuff with a baseball bat would hurt so much. That like hurt way more than I expected it to. Well, it looks like it's done. Well, it looks like we officially smashed our like button. All in a day's work, that's what I say. No, 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 no. Uh -oh. Maybe? No. Oh, perfect. Here we go. Wait, I forgot the milk. No, we're out of milk. Wait, here it is. Pour our cereal. Put the spoon in. Pour our milk. Perfect. Now let's put this in the freezer. There we go. Okay, I'll see you when you're all frozen. But what do I do in the meantime? Okay, here we go! Whoa. Oh my gosh! Whoa. Here we go! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Riding a one wheel while doing juggling sticks! Kids, don't try this at home, it's very dangerous! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Whoa. Oh my gosh! Oh! I think it might be ready! Let's go get it! Okay, how uh, are we frozen? Oh, that is definitely frozen. Let's go test this out on Tori. Tori Bransky! Yes? I made you some cereal because I'm the best boyfriend ever. Oh, thank you. No, Bench, that's not for you. It's a nice cold bowl of cereal just for you, Tori Bransky. Well, you're gonna get it everywhere. How are you? What? Uh, what? What's going on with your cereal, Tori? <laughs> well, you're not even eating that right. Look at it. Oh, that was a great cereal, Robbie. Thank you. You've been pranked. I froze it. <laughs> what? No way. I would never have been able to get it. Okay, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. Woo! Okay, guys, so here's our Woo! butter knife. Here's our lipstick. All we gotta do, oh my gosh, that lipstick is so messed up. All we gotta do is do this. Ah, easy peasy, awesome. Sweet, now let's go test this out on Chris. Oh, hey Chris. Oh, hey dude, what's up? How you doing, uh, uh what, you, what you try, what you, yeah, what you up to? We're making some toast. Do you have a butter knife? Uh, of course I do. Nice, thank you. Uh, no, here, I'll, <laughs> I can butter your toast for you. I'm a professional toast Butterer. All right, thanks. I guess. Oh uh, yeah, no problem. Anything for a new office mate. Yeah, I've been buttering toast my whole life, and it's. Oh my god! Oh, Chris, I just. Oh my head! Chris, I'm bleeding! I'm bleeding! Oh my god! Oh, oh my! Oh, 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 oh. I'm dying! Uh, you already 
did this one. Wait, what? Yeah. What? <laughs> no, you pranked me with this already. Good try, good try though. Do you have a real butter knife though somewhere? Without lipstick on it? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just find it. <laughs> Okay guys, so here's our string, here's our needle. Now all I gotta do is put this string through this needle. Here we go. And easy peasy lemon squeezy, all done! Now I just gotta go into my shirt, and then whoop, pull that out. And I got a little string sticking out of my shirt. Perfect. Now time to test this out on Tori. Tori Bransky, I have a string on my shirt. And I know how you like to pick those off, and it keeps going. <laughs> Tori, what's happening right now? I don't even understand. Oh, Lord, You're gonna destroy my shirt, Tori Bransky. It's not even the how are you doing that? This is a crazy magic trick, Tori. Uh, How? What are you doing? Oh, oh, I got it. You got it. You're a magical girl. Here's your green and purple string from your gray and yellow shirt. I got you. You've been pranked. What? I, I sabotaged my shirt with that string. What do you mean? You and the Benj would have never known. You would have never guessed. Benj, have you been bamboozled? I think Benji is just, he's just so confused yes, right now. He's been so bamboozled. Well, guys, I guess we can say this prank works. Here's our glue. Here's our bag. Let's go ahead and open this up. Put this in here a little bit. Yeah, that should work. Then we get our mustard. We just kind of put that in there. Okay, that should do it. Now we put the cap back on, just like that. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and cut all the excess off. Well, that looks about as good as we're gonna get it. Let's test this out on Tori. Tori Nebraska, I got you some glue so that you can make your cotton swab Eiffel Tower like you've been wanting to make. Thank you. Now you can get started. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tori, what's wrong with oh, your glue? Oh, no, I don't know. What did you do to your glue? What did you do to this poor glue? I, like I pranked you! It's mustard! Did you just like drink it then? I mean, I guess you could. <laughs> it was very liquidy when I put it in there. I know, I don't really know if I want to drink it. I got you! I pranked you! Well guys, I guess we said this would work! I, got, I really gotta go. Okay, no, goodbye. Please, no, I'll see you later. I'll leave you with your mustard. Goodbye! Bye. When I lead you to the dance floor Okay, so here's our highlighter. I'm actually gonna use an Expo marker because I don't have another highlighter because I forgot to get one because I'm a smart boy. Let me just go ahead and write all over it. It's perfect! Johnny will never suspect a thing! Johnny Gerber! Oh, yeah. I know you're studying for your Boy Scout exam, oh. uh, so I got you this and also a highlighter. Oh, sweet. Thank you so much. No problem, dude. I... That way you can highlight all the, all the stuff for your Boy Scout exam. Oh, that's great. You're doing really good. Also, you've been praying! Look at your hand! Oh. Well, I, oh, I, oh. Your hands have nothing on them at all! <laughs> nothing. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say it. This prank doesn't work. Okay, guys, so I'm currently in the guest bathroom right now. We got our glue. Let's go ahead and try this. So I think they just kind of opened this up a lot. Oh, this is harder than it looks with one hand. Okay, we just go ahead and get our hand, put a bunch of glue on there. Apparently, we just kind of shove it all in there, just like that. I don't think Johnny will ever see this coming. How am I supposed to wash my hands off now? I think the real prank was on me, because now my hands are all gross. Anyway, let's go test this out on Johnny. Oh, Johnny Gilbert! Hi. I bet your hands are really dirty, aren't they? Uh, yes. You should go wash them right now. Oh, okay, I, I will, I will. You need to wash your hands because they're so dang dirty. Yeah, that's a great point. Uh Oh wow, that didn't work at all. Why is it so milky? Originally I put glue on it. What was it supposed to do? It, it was supposed to, here, I'll, I'll show you really quick. Okay. It didn't do that at all. Yeah, that didn't happen. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Okay guys, so here's our frog. Just gotta unwrap it really quick. Aha! 
perfect. We got ourselves a chocolate frog. Here's our string. It's kind of invisible, so you can't really see it that well. Anyway, we just uh, go ahead and tie this onto our frog, just like this. Whoa, that really sticks. Dang, it kind of looks like a jumping frog. Wow, that's pretty realistic, actually. Okay, let's go try this out on Johnny. Okay, guys, so Johnny's just chilling over there, so that gives us the perfect opportunity to prank him. Let's do this. Johnny Gilbert! What? How are you doing? I'm fine, I'm just chilling. Would you like to go somewhere, like on a walk maybe? We can go on a walk. Let's go! Okay. Oh! Holy sh! Oh my god. Oh my god, is that a frog? Oh my god! Oh! oh Johnny, grab it! Johnny, Johnny, grab it! Johnny, grab it! Johnny, grab it! It's a frog! Oh my god, oh my god. Johnny, here, you want to pet it? It's fake. It's fake. You've been pranked! I got you! Is this gonna be every day? Is this my life now? It's just getting pranked. Hey, Johnny. <laughs> it's every day, bro. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give a thumbs up. It looks something like this fire right down there. If you guys want to watch me do even more funny pranks on Tori, I have a whole playlist dedicated to me doing them right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to subscribe to Tori, you can click right here. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. I'm Renetic. Okay, bye. Ah!